We asked for three hundred dollars. Yeah. We spent three hundred dollars twenty eighteen. So you had nothing coming in. So we spent three hundred <coughs> we asked for three hundred dollars twenty nineteen, which is in the budget. I know, but you have no revenue to offset it, so it's a direct hit. Okay. But um so it hasn't been spent yet, is what I'm saying. That money's still sitting in the senior account. Or it should be. I know you from Raleigh. I know we'll have to ask Caroline. So, um, that was for the mailing, right? That was for the. That was to. Hello, how are you doing? Budget, not 2019. That was for the over. I was thinking about it, and then I am and then I want to go. So, what did you have for what did you have for expenses that you was for 19? None. We haven't allocated it. We haven't. Awesome. We have This so committee hasn't good. said we're so going to do this for seniors, yeah. and that's why the percentages are not coming yeah. through. Yeah. I mean, she's got some heavy hitters in her class, but <laughs> she's maintaining her. We haven't so. spent any of our three hundred dollars. I'm warned that what you were saying. Yeah. Twenty twenty, not nineteen. So I'm not quite sure I understand. But sorry, we'll get there. Do we have patties for tonight? I don't. I Gosh, reached out to I, I know, and I reached out to her, and there was something with her husband, and I was like, "Let me know." And I don't know if she ever got back to me. So, so I am actually thinking that. Oh, here it is. So. So there's three hundred dollars in the senior budget, but. It hasn't been broken out into how we're spending it. So that's why the percentages are not working. So. I don't really understand those percentages. Are we are we in session? Because I'm not yet. Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't understand this. I feel like I'm a math person too and I don't get them. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to open it. <laughs> Can I make a suggestion, mm. since Melanie's here, that we start with the recap of Camp Raleigh? Yeah, that's good. That's that we can do yeah. our stuff. budget stuff after. So we don't bore her. I'll put my baby to bed. Get out of here. Well, the floor would be yours. So you can go ahead and start giving your recap. All right, what do you think? Um, I think once we got our system of one person contact, I was just going to you, and then one person was just giving information to the bus company. That was our heaviest hit, was that three times we had kids in line and no bus in a scratching for 30 minutes, and it upset counselors and kids, and that was so hard for me. Like, I kept, like, telling her and resending, but she had gotten them, she had gotten an email, I think, in the beginning from Celia, she got one from Patty, she got one from me, so it was very confusing to the bus company. So I said, just go off this one. And I kind of used my mom voice at the, <laughs> the last time, like, this cannot happen again. So I think that was, you know, our biggest hiccup is one person contacts, whether it's for teen and camp, and we do it as a unit when it comes to buses and things like that. So we're one concise unit and nobody's confused. Um, other than that, we once we got on the page of me and you communicate, and it wasn't like, okay, well, I started the conversation with her, and somewhere in the middle it went here, and we got our one list where I would just shoot her, this is what we need for this week's festivities, this is what we need, then we got everything we needed, and we're good. I think for snacks, we go through them so fast, though, that it would almost be good to have a storage locker. <laughs> filled with tons of snacks because I felt like I was harassed <coughs> every week for snacks or maybe get on top of it like December looking in the hand for Shaw's whoever will give us stuff and being that our main concern because it's our biggest money maker and that we're getting um, or buying bigger and, portions like, and, a, like a, a case of something yeah, versus like big BJ's box. shops yeah. and that's yeah. what we started off yeah. I went the Sunday before camp started down to BJ's yeah and about a hundred dollars worth of donated goods, mm -hmm. and um, so we started with BJ's stuff. Yeah, 
That oh, works good it. because it's just so, like, that's, there's so many of them. And I limited it to two. You can only get two at a time so they weren't sugar overloaded. Mm -hmm. It's still like that. But I think also having more popsicles, like that being our main thing, because it is so hot. And maybe adding ice creams, like things that are cold. Mm -hmm. Even juice, maybe. Things that are hydrated and mm -hmm. fluidy, not just sugary things that are going to bring them down, mm -hmm. carbs that are down. I think one of the reasons why we were behind the show, too, is because we didn't have a lot of donations. Mm -hmm. um, in the spring, and um, so we didn't really have the money to put into it to begin, so we're sort of like <laughs> picking at it. So I agree that the sooner we can get on the donations and get the stash, the sooner the better. Yeah. Or budget it and not set it in revenue. Mm -hmm. You know, so then you, but if then you get donations, that will be on top of that. Yeah. So at least you can possibly start, get, have a line in your budget for that and say, this is what it is. We do. I feel like that will take some of the, the heat off of you guys yeah. in the yeah. middle of the week when you have your life and you're oh, trying to go on vacation and go to Boston or do something. And I'm like, but I need snacks. So I well, <laughs> maybe we can yep. make it a little higher or what. And you don't have to have a huge amount, especially once you start getting your revenue flowing. Mm -hmm. um, but then I kind of still have to give it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, we can't take revenue from the cash box no, to buy things. You know, it has to be filtered through the correct, correct channels. That's correct. Um, so you okay, but in your donations, if you can get some donations, your donations can start kicking in where it's yeah. just no money out, just cash coming in. Yeah, so that would be nice. That would be um, um, better. I think one of the things that we really need to do target though is, is Shaw's cancer and market basket for donations for these particular items. You need maybe free pops from one and, you know, the, the snack crackers for the other and, um, you know, the, I think, or they may give gift cards, I'm not sure, but yeah. those are the Shaw's three. And, and possibly BJ's, BJ's too. too. I mean, yeah. I don't know how much. So BJ's how needs information 60 to 90 days ahead of time. And they make their um, donations at the end of every month. Mm -hmm. Shaw's, we walked in and got a twenty dollar gift mm -hmm. card. Hannaford's, um, we approached this year and did not hear back from them. And mm -hmm. then um, we have a really good contact. Do you know who I'm talking about? I think okay. so. So let's um, have that conversation with her and see what we can do. And then um, Janato's in the past yeah. has. Donated, um, and I'm not sure if we asked them this year or not. Um, and then um, market basket you have to send to the corporate headquarters in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And then um, Walmart, we can ask for up to five hundred dollars. Over five hundred dollars has to go through their corporate office, mm -hmm. and you have to be in a designated target area. Mm -hmm. And Target, we asked this year, and I got a comment from them, didn't we just ask? And then we never heard back from them. Um, my son works at BJ's now. Mm -hmm. he does. Oh, so so maybe you see him look into possibly donation mm -hmm. or contributions. Yeah, yeah. And we had asked them last year and never heard from them. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, they might deal yeah. with their, you know, their area. We might be, like, out of their zone, I know, so to say. I know in the past, and this is quite a while ago, because when Jane was young, um, they, like, adopt a school yearly, mm -hmm. and they do a whole year of stuff with that school. Uh, who so does that? BJ. BJ. I might be go. I might be able to go in and talk to the manager, because I had to, I had to go in there and uh, felt paperwork with Nick, because he's under 18. Mm -hmm. So I kind of, I talked to her a little bit about the community and contributions, so maybe that might be good. That's my big, a good, good discussion. Or, you know, a good discount of some sort. Yeah. Like, if they can't do the... Well, they, do, they yeah. usually donate, like, a $50 gift card, and then you can go in and get whatever, yeah. you, whatever you do. Yeah. And then um, we also looked at Cumberland Farms this year as mm -hmm. a donation place for snack items, but their policy is you cannot resell any donated items. So any um, donated items we got from Cumberland Farms would have to have been used as like free I items. You freeze, free freeze pops as a, a contribution, but kids are still hydrated because 
That's on us too. We do a lot of sports and it's mm -hmm. really hot. And, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So we know that we have to. There's some work that we have to do there. Earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What else you got? Um, I think the other thing was just the shirts. I think for staff, we were really hot in the cotton t-shirts. And I know it sounds silly, but when you're in it all day, like a jersey tank top that's wider than this, like respectable. But a v-neck, thin, flowy tank top is really appreciated. The small things, like just when you're in it all day and sweating, um, will make a big difference. And then people are trying to cut their shirts and complaining about their shirts and being, <laughs> you know, <laughs> not wearing their shirts and conveniently leaving them at home. Um, so I think if that would make a big difference in them feeling like we're paying attention to what they need to because they're young and it's a lot about <laughs> them too still. And it is important, I agree. And it's comfortable for me too. Um, also, the kids' shirts, just, um, I think we should do something different this year. I don't know what, but somehow where it's just a more organized system. I know we have to wait till we find out the kids and what sizes they are, so we're at a lower demand, but maybe we, we do the closing time sooner on the registration so that we have a definite deadline. We need all shirts a month notice before this. We give ample opportunity for everyone to sign up before so that the shirts are in, we know exactly who's getting them. It's a systematic system and not like a struggle. Mm -hmm. I will tell you this year was a little bit more chaotic and it's because we we sort of dropped the ball on that a little bit. Well, I think you're trying to be kind so, too. Yeah. So many people are calling and wanting to add on late and you're wanting to be accommodating. But when we're accommodating, it kind of messes the flow of the system where we need to be on top of it and organized too. Mm -hmm. And we can't when we have an unlimited due date <coughs> or end date and then our, our order gets in late and then we're getting parents every day asking for multiple weeks. Mm -hmm. It just gets kind of, you feel like, I'm sorry, soon, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. soon. I just you feel know, like this year was the year that we were a little bit more chaotic with it. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful we've had a couple of good years of it. But well, well it I think it, was, it didn't help us either that C and J didn't let us know about their donation. Like we, we didn't hear about that for a while. We didn't you know, know we it was were late, but, but we were late though too, right? It was on us as well. Yes, yes. The order did not go in yeah. until the first week of June, yeah. and then we added on to it for teen camp. And then, like Melanie said, we did not give ourselves enough time to be organized. I remember the first year I put all the kids' shirts in bags with their names on them. So all the director had to do was hand out a bag for that parent. This is your kid's shirt. And it was ready the first day so that the parents had their shirts. Last year the, the director took it over and she did just sizes and she had a list of who was getting what size. And so this year was a little bit of both. I had a list of campers by size, and then we just laid them out and tried to give them out. But when we did, not all the campers were there, and it caused a lot of confusion. Yeah. And I think we just got hit hard every angle. It was like, first we have the gym, and now we don't have, you know, that we lost. It was the triple it threat was a, of, it was the, a of the summer. Yeah, it yeah. was like, no yeah. kindergarten, no yeah. gym, no yeah. shirts. Yeah. You know, it was just one of those things that we're trial and, and error and things that, um, stuff was out of our control. Yeah, exactly. For sure. Yeah. Um, well, for what it's worth, the gym is beautiful. Yeah. Well, <laughs> sure. And, and, and the voice of it too. And, um, it won't have to be done for another like, 20 years. <laughs> so, so well, I don't think it's that long. <laughs> I that's what Rich said they told him. Really? But he also said that it had been the last band Uh, oh, so, so you're going to have to play the, the wood. <laughs> yeah, next time it's full <laughs> The other thing is that you know, we're just not cash rich to be able to buy more shirts than yeah. we need. That's oh, yeah. the problem, because if that was the case, we could stock all sizes and then just, you know, we don't have the revenue. Right, the space. space. And I think or the space, or I the storage. Yeah. Honestly, with the, with the numbers are similar for team camps that they were this year, we have 15 team shirts left. It might actually work. Like, they might not need your team. That's what we thought this year, and we ended up having, I think, 10 kids all pick the size we were out of. 
and we had two or three parents buy shirts of that size. So then you can't really say, we're not going to. And then I like the idea of the tank tops, but I did notice on the invoice from last year, because they did get tank tops in 2018, is that tank tops are $2 more per shirt. Really? Yes. And they have less Interesting. Then what? The I know we had staff say they would pay for better shirts. So that so. could be an option. You have you get one free shirt like the kids do, and you pay for an additional shirt. And I don't think they would mind doing that because it's that important to them. Hmm. Or and that's the I way wonder. they make it seem. Whether in reality, <laughs> it would be. yeah. If you told them that, we don't know how that. Yeah. Works. <laughs> right. So how did you think your staff was this year? Good. I think um, some are just naturally pessimistic. So you get that thread when it started with the kindergarten and then that, you know, you get that pessimistic undertone and it can spread. And a negative person can spread to every other person mm -hmm. like rapid fire. Mm -hmm. And then you have the negative feel in the sure. environment. Um, well, yeah, no, 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 I can't, I know, <laughs> but, um, so I, I did post positive affirmations. Um, They're still up? They are. Yeah. Well, I actually, I took most of them down, so I must have forgotten some, mm -hmm. because I wasn't sure how I'd feel about it. But just, I do that at my work, too. Um, nobody's perfect, that's why pencils have erasers. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, you failed today, but now you get a whole other shot tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Great. You know, things like that so that it would turn around and I just tried to be as positive as I could be and channel my, I'll, I'll say the M child, she's so positive. <laughs> but, um, you know, and, and it seemed to turn around and everybody seemed to be happier at the end once they realized it was ending and, and things like that. Like, um, but the initial loss of things was a focal point that some created this a rift so much. exception exactly. in the this year, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And we were shocked by it too. We didn't, we didn't find out until after everything was out and people were signing up. And then we found out we couldn't have the gym for August. And, and you only took Legion once. Yeah. Yes. And they were so, so that nice was to good. Us the weather was pretty impressive. Yeah. Just, uh, so that's good. But kudos to them for stepping up and filling us out. Because that was awesome. She had awesome. no question. She wasn't even hesitant come on over yeah that it was great. really good so. yeah i um, did have a question about that though sorry didn't mm -hmm. mean to interrupt oh the talent show did yes. you ever get hold of her to have it up with stage down there so i had called her she said yeah sure go on over i'll have someone open it for you so we walk them all down and she goes they actually can't come till 12 it was 11 already and we were there i was like we're going to the gazebo you guys can perform under the gazebo so we all watched in the grass and we performed she under the gazebo. Me, actually she called my house do you know what time they're supposed to be using? The, so somewhere in there was a confusion about time. Yeah. And it was she just said, I'm really sorry, but I can't open, nobody's going to be down there huh. until noon. And I was like, so then I texted you, I think, and I was like, I'm sorry, Melanie, are you down there? That's okay. <laughs> I still did it. We had the speakers on, on the phones, and they had a good time. They did really good. So what do you think about programming? Do you think it was too much, too little, do things differently? Do you mean the yeah, field? Let's, let's talk place? about, yeah, let's talk about um, day to day. breaking it down. No, let's start with like the, the bus trips. Yeah. So I know that when Denise and I were coming together the budget this year, we were talking about the fact that um, as far as money is concerned, maybe you were doing too many trips um, a week, so two trips a week in order to get ahead, you know, we want to get ahead at some point. What do you think about that? I mean, I think if you compromise the field trips, you probably compromise campers wanting to join because part of it is they can't take their kids to places and they want you guys to because they need to know that they're doing something even if it's just them paying for it. So I feel like as far as just, I just know summer's work, they do Tuesdays and Thursdays, they go to a week each time. Mm -hmm. And I think those are the cheapest ones to go to a week mm -hmm. because you don't need anything else. Um, but if do that's you, not in the budget, then... Do you know if they pay for the bus? Um, I don't remember. Their, their fees are much higher than you, than you guys, but mm -hmm. they do include everything. They include breakfast, lunch, breakfast, lunch, 
Um, the kids provide their own snacks. They do free freeze pops every once in a while, but their rate's are a lot higher. And they do two Tuesdays and Thursdays. They go to the lakes. So you think that two field trips, getting kids on and off the bus plus a week isn't? I think Mondays was a big complaint because we're just stepping in and they were, everybody got your first AK, you got this, you got your keys, you got that, and you got this, you got that, and it's a lot for a Monday. I do like those summers where that they do Tuesdays, Thursdays because you have that incoming. Okay, I know who my kids are this week because they change week to week. Like the view? Yeah, especially. Maybe that's right. why we did it. That's, that's why we did it. Why we did it. Absolutely yeah. why we did it. Uh-huh. Because we didn't want to do it. And how many children total? It's, it's different every year. Approximately. This year, we had a lot of kids that went to rec. Okay. More than the year before. The year before, I didn't have any. Mm. Any of the kids that I've worked with, but I think this year, I think of all the kids we had, maybe only four didn't go to rec. Mm. And we had an average of one to two every hour between, well, there's four of us working. So each of the four of us, five of us, because there would be um, OT, and speech, and then four of us doing the regular stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we have one to two, sometimes John it as three, kids every hour from seven to noon. Mm -hmm. On what day is it? Last year it was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And we switched it from, it's three days, this is the problem. Mm -hmm. It had always been Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then for a couple of years we switched it, at least summer's worth wanted to switch it. I'm not positive. But we did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but then that left Thursday, Friday. Right, to do back-to-back -back trips, which we didn't like that either. Unless they did Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They're not going to do that. That's, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to up there. But I, don't, I don't think they would be able to do it. Um, I think there would be a lot of conflicts because of we have bus service too. So I don't know. I, I don't think that would go. So maybe we... we Take that offline and think about trying to do something a little bit different. I mean, as far as so, what about um, the majority of the kids though are not in the, the, the programs with the school. So if we're affecting the majority of the kids, I don't know. I don't know if that's the right thing to do as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, our parents can decide if they want their kids in this one day. But then now, I'm not saying this that day, but not be part of RAC. Not be part of RAC. Is what I'm saying. But their program's not all eight weeks. Right, do. it's not all eight, but how many, how many weeks? Because you... I think we do four like, or five. Yeah. I think it. So, you're, you're saying Monday is not a good day because you think it won't. Well, it's I mean, I, it's better than nothing. Monday. But yes, it, ideally, ideal world, you know, fairyland, it would be ideal to do that on Tuesday. But what about a half trip then? Well, How about at noon? Pool. Do the pool then? Do the pool just Fridays or can we switch to well, the pool? Well, we could, I guess I could ask. The reason that we got Fridays three years ago was because that was, we were kind of low man on the totem pole and that was the only time that he could accommodate us for large groups. Um, so maybe we think about... I could ask about moving that day, but... I mean, I don't know. Do you think Friday at cool days is bad? I think it's kind of neat to end the week on Friday. My kids really love cool days, Fridays, but yeah, I think any day is good for good for a cool day. Just kind of like the variety of having like so you have a field trip and you have three days. You know, you're just going to be doing similar activities and then you have a cool day. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of nice to have that every other kind of variety spice, you know. Okay, so you're just thinking that money may be a little bit hectic, but as far as two times a week. We think it's, it works good. Okay. What about programming for, you know what, one of the things that came up in the survey is um, arts and crafts. They, again, are getting complaints about not having enough items come home. And they give kids sit down and do arts and crafts activities. That was one of the big things. And so there's a section you can free form whatever you want to say. And most of the comments were about, well, but my kids aren't bringing anything home. So another thing I think we should work on, again, next year. But I would lay it How out. did you feel about that? Well, I would lay it out on the table. I felt the same way. I would lay it out, I'd sign out, and I'd say free art, and it'd be a stack aside because I don't know whose name it is because they did it with Joe Schmo, and they didn't write their name on it, and now I have a stack of art, 
And if you go through it and you really want your art, and you can take it home. But if you don't, I don't know whose it is. <laughs> so I can't and follow everyone around and go, here, Johnny, here, Susie, here's your art. They love doing it, but then they don't love, then they're off doing the next fun thing with it, right? So you, you think those comments are not so much about we didn't do enough of oh, it, it's no, just that they're not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah they're, not, they're not actually, they, they like the process, then they're done, and it's never happened. Their name's not on it, they don't follow, take it, we'd say, get your ornament, you know, this this one we spent more money on. <laughs> we were like really trying to be diligent, and still, there was just ornaments left everywhere. What about baggies or something like that and put their names on it? Yeah, we were going through baggies like, uh, like crazy because then we'd have a whole bunch of other things and we had slime. So, uh, you know, we, we were running out of supplies a lot. Mm -hmm. um, not arts and crafts, but we were running out of like the baggies and food and, and those mm -hmm. type of things mm -hmm. that you go through like that paper plate <coughs> every day. Mm -hmm. um, those things that we could get in bulk from BJ's paper plates, I think, um, would be helpful. So while you're saying that, can you um, just quickly maybe run down some items? So I've got the baggies, the food plates, and napkins. Anything else that you guys went through religiously that? Freeze pops. Um, How about sale food? Yeah. Um, Do you need utensils like Yes. And yeah. A lot, of, a lot of them would forget that. Or this way we can start putting these items yeah. on the list. Yeah. OK. Paper towels. Yeah, they usually had the blanket towels at school. Oh, okay. Um, mostly the plates. You're talking about paper plates? Yes, yeah. for the okay. pizza day. Yeah. And I know we talked about it and we didn't want like me or uh, somebody else driving to get the pizza, but it would save a lot of money if we did, I think, little Caesars because they're so cheap. <laughs> Versus, and we had some issues with old rail, but not too bad, nothing major, just they would forget to bill us or something, but their pizzas I think are a significant amount more than Little Caesar. It was, it was $8. It was $8, and that included delivery. Okay. And so... $8 a pizza versus five? Yeah. And um, for that, we were making a profit on both the pizzas we ordered. But they have a bigger, large pizza than... And the delivery was nice. And we also discussed it as a committee previously that staff leaving is a liability. Mm -hmm. If you ever get in an accident or, mm -hmm. and then there's also the cost of, we might have to reimburse you per mile. I don't know if there's a mileage reimbursement that the town has to pay. Okay, yeah, I was just throwing it out there because I know some of the, the kids that went that worked, uh, not kids, counselors, that worked there were, they would order from Little Caesars because it'd be cheaper for them to get a whole pizza and split it together than it would for. And then they, they went and got it? No, they would They would have um, somebody that door dash thing, door -dash thing oh, everyone's okay. obsessed with now. Oh, okay. Um, and then comments have been made by committee members in the past that they will not buy pizza, and their kids are still going to Camp Raleigh. They would not buy pizza for their kids if it was Little Caesars because they wanted a better quality pizza. Right. And I don't eat pizza either way, but I was think I was just thinking because it seemed like the <coughs> the counselors um, they they have raised the question. I thought I'd throw it in there because it was cheaper for them. So I think they liked the idea because you know they're on a budget. <laughs> have you did you put them for a pizza? I left them information previously, but I had not know. heard back from them. But I don't know that, I mean, they open at 11.30, but I don't know if they have the, the driver. The the DJ, yeah, yeah, during the session week. about pizza. Okay, because I know that when I, for a couple of events that I stopped uh, yeah, I just wasn't sure. It they had like, huge yeah. mm -hmm. There were some issues. That, yeah, yeah. They would like um, but I, they I really was just mentioning it for money. I didn't yeah. know if there was a cheaper so, place like it found out at the time. My money. We're me and Alice. We so, like a little we'll Caesar because we're yeah. making a little bit of a profit off of it. But, <laughs> but yeah, you got the way out though. Yeah, that's the quality of the pizza. Yeah. And, and you can go get it because they don't deliver, right? Yeah. And Old Rail was one of two other companies that was willing to invoice us um, yeah. for the pizza. and. The other company wanted us to have a check on hand at the time of delivery. Like they wanted us to make a list, like pizza was Wednesday, and wanted to know the order of Wednesday morning or Tuesday night. 
so you would have had to meet your list Monday or Tuesday, and then getting a check from Caroline so that when they dropped the pizza off, you gave them a check. And so they, and if you couldn't do it on Wednesday when they dropped off the pizza, they wanted the check by Friday. And they requested that we bring them the check versus them coming back for the check. So who we're using now is that by the end of the, um, the summer, did we, uh, were we okay? Did we get things worked out? I know there's a couple of invoicing issues, but I have not heard about that. Do you think that there is? Will we go with that next year? I mean, was it good enough so that well, we the was good. should? Yeah, like, I mean, the kids, I have no complaints. Okay. Can we talk about cooling bomb spaces? No. But then we, if we use it, we can't charge for it again. Well, no, if you buy it, it. If you buy it, no, we sell it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're reasonable. That's all I'm saying. And you could probably do George Ash with them. Well, they yeah. might even, because it's just on the street, do a delivery to us. If it, I mean, it's all, if, they get a lot of if it's worth it, yeah. worth like, what you're ordering. Yep. Um, How many pieces did you, or, you typically order in a, a lot? Well, like how 15? many large pieces? Yeah, probably 15. I mean, because any company will make, well, well that's what that's I'm wondering. If you, yeah. if you call South, South Broadcaster Pizza, that maybe they would have somebody that could deliver 15 pieces. One, one of their owners day. versus waiting for the delivery right. guy to come in. They may make it worth it. We should ask the question. We should ask them anyway and say, this is what we do for the whole summer. How, you how know? many slices did we get in the last Do you remember? Well, they're eight. Right. It's, that's a standard. Yeah, standard. You know, it just depends how large. Certain like people have different size larges, so to say. Yeah. And but, so you pay South Burp is pricey, though. Well, so we, so what were the people that we're using, so depending on whether we're selling cheese or pepperoni, I think the pepperoni were making 100%. Pepperoni was $10 a pizza, and oh. cheese was 8 For every cheese pizza, $4, it was made based on $1.50 per slice, and at $2 a slice per pepperoni, there's a $6 profit that could be made on each one of the pepperoni pizzas. It's in the committee meeting notes from September, or oh. July 11th. Okay, thank you. But the other one that does delivery too is Papa Gino's. Um, that's a possibility. Papa J's, maybe? Papa J's is another one. Papa Pizza. J's and Papa Gino's we looked into two years ago. And in Papa Gino's, you have to order a minimum of 20 pizzas per week to get a bulk rate. And Papa J's, theirs includes delivery, and it's the same size as. Um, Little scissors. Little scissors. Yeah. And they were between twelve and between ten and fifteen dollars. Captain was only looked into it. So okay. I think it's safe to say that we should look into this. Yeah. Oh, I think we should do, do a little strength. more. Yeah. 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 Um, and then a couple of years ago when I looked into it, Supa's Pizza, who's right next to Harvey's mm -hmm. in downtown Dover, they have one of the largest pizzas in the area. It's like sixteen inches across. And they would do ten to twelve slices. They would cut it so they could get more slices, but they have since gone away with their delivery. So that's another. What about the, ch the chessmen or something in the Dover Bowl building? That I think Is that changed. Still there? I think it changed hands, and I'm not sure. And the other person to look at would be Kendall Pont Pizza. Mm -hmm. Um, like it's still there. Yeah, yeah, I love the eyes too. That's my favorite place. So plain cheese at South Burke House is almost twelve bucks, and the pepperoni. Is thirteen seventy five. I think they have a one of the larger size pieces. That's the sixteen inches. Yeah. They gave us that's that's what what we did. I think yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They gave us a discount when we did pay there. Yeah, well, they gave us like I said, they gave me a discount too. Yeah. So that might just be a standard, but if they knew they were getting fifteen pieces a week for six weeks, I bet you they would have a fan too. Yeah. 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 So that's some And that's what happens with old rail. Oh you know what? My son's friend works there. And South Park? Yeah. You should yeah. ask me about that. Let's look into it. I mean, it, it, all we can do is ask, but let's, yeah. you know, look into it and see what we can do about having a, a better pizza for cheaper. Yeah. 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 So we, we will look at that. Yeah. Camp Cash, I know that was a huge harper. Huge harper. Well, I think it was just that we didn't, because we were hit with so many things, we didn't have. I think the snacks we needed, so what had happened was we'd have to use canned cash to get snacks and then be in trouble with Caroline. Yeah. And, and we can't do that. So we need a stash. Or we have to say to parents, 
I'm sorry you can't give your kids snack today, and post a sign that we run out of snacks because it makes it difficult. So I think that's the snack issue, yeah. right? So I, I think I think that was the camp cash issue, though. Yeah. Well, that it was because you yeah, yeah, need money to the, buy something, and yeah. you're not supposed to do that. Right, right, right. But I think that just this this year in general, yeah, the snacks yeah, was took, just that was a real bad decline. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I I think we'll work on that yeah, yeah. and make it better. But yeah. we definitely cannot use any cash intake, and I think cash intake this year was a little not good. I mean, the, the first day was not. We all know that that was a disaster. So we have to get better about how we're going to handle bringing. When people are bringing cash in, mm -hmm. how did the, the cards yeah, work? That's, that's actually what I was asking about. Oh, the, oh. Yeah, the cards. Like, what did you? I know they seem tedious and well, it seemed like a long process. The, the process. cards, the cards were fine. You could you could go back and get it later after you subtracted. Um, that was fine. I think it was the part that became the problem was like you said at the beginning was the the one hand mm -hmm. and collecting for one thing at one time mm -hmm. with one person mm -hmm. versus collecting for multiple things at the same time. Well, we're not going to do that again. I think. Yeah, we're so, not, yeah. so, but I don't think it was a reflection of the, the cards. I think the money got subtracted fine from the cards. It's just a little more tedious, but it's not. A but how did we make out in the, in the long run? I mean, was it noted that there was no refunds mm -hmm. at the end of the year? We so how did people end up money. at the end of the year? They didn't say a thing. Well, but was it high, was it low? Um, they honestly. Celia, really, how was your how was your balance today? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't see them. We were throwing everything away. We didn't yeah. need. Um, oh, you guys threw away the cards. I'm pretty sure. Okay, um, next week, then. Yeah, you got to get your ten thousand in here, Alan. Um, I'm pretty sure we threw them away. Um, we were cleaning out house pretty quickly. Um, but. Yeah, there was definitely balance on cards. No parents said any okay thing. It was they probably weren't putting more uh, yeah. more than they anticipated. Yeah. Last year they was they had like fifty dollars on there, oh, you know, and then was dwindling it down, but didn't get dwindled down. And, and then we were issuing checks out for like ten cents, which is so. I did talk to down. Sam. Like um, we had maybe a week and a half left, mm -hmm. and she was actually telling the parents how much were on the cards. Mm -hmm. So that they knew, mm -hmm. and if she thought that maybe the child would run out next week, she'd say, just maybe a couple dollars on the card. Yeah, yeah, good, good. So there was communication good. about that. Good. And I think sat down and noticed maybe. I think we did. Think, or, or I think it was more verbal, like just, yeah, we're, we're ending the week, we're not doing cash back, so mm -hmm. we don't need, you know, $20 right now. So yeah, that's the problem. With like four days, days left. A couple of yeah, days yeah. Right. yeah. So I think as far as, uh, I was curious about the system because I reached out to, who hasn't heard back to me yet, but I uh, wanted to find out how she handled her camp cash. She's got so I mean, she's got twice the amount of camp as we do, so I was curious. As she has some later, she's got some better, better insight on what we could do. Mm -hmm. That would be great. As a parent, I felt like it wasn't accurate. I felt like some of my child was having snack and foods, and it was not being deducted, that the amount was higher on the card than should have mm -hmm. been. And I don't know who was handling it at the camp, but I felt like my either my child was not having the opportunity to get SNAP or it was not being reported because the amount should have not been that high the last week that we were there. And I think that what it was before was you can have you can come up and ask for as many snacks as you want. It wasn't controlled and I didn't allow that this year. I did two snacks and that's it. So kids are not full of sugar on a high and crashing down with us in our care. Mm -hmm. So I think previous years people were losing money left and right because if you're a kid and you're allowed to get five packs of Oreos, you're getting five packs of Oreos. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't allowed this year. Mm -hmm. So I think other parents had the same thought and we were allowing them to get snacks every day, but they weren't only allowed to get mm -hmm. But I don't even think about it, like my child getting two slices of pizza and putting on $15 or whatever I did, and then at the last week still having $10, knowing he's had $4 come off for pizza, it just, just didn't <coughs> add up in my mind. That's all. I think we should um, investigate a better way to do it, uh, more accurate way to do it. 
um, next year, even if it's, I don't know, I even talked to David about coming up with some sort of, yeah. um, I'm sure there's some cancer that we can do or something we can look online, Google's got it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, I just think there was so many new staff, late, late hiring staff, and, no, and not a lot of training, and so it's not on the staff. It, it really isn't. Um, we need to be better about making sure that we, we give you the resources that you need to do, and and so it's next year. And I think Sam Sam dealt with it because Sam would rather. So if one person was in charge of the snack shack and one person was in charge of manning the entire group and keeping them calm while you're waiting, mm -hmm. she felt more confident doing that. And I think she was honest. And I think if she didn't subtract, it was not any intent on her whatsoever. Yeah. And she felt more comfortable if I did crowd control. So that was my job. Mm -hmm. And it could have just been my child the year before. He refused. He wouldn't go to Snack Shack because he would grab something from a lunchbox. My other <laughs> question would be. Um, his lunch box. <laughs> My other question <laughs> to um, save on the confusion around the snacks, would it be easier if you had, if it was part of the director's job duty to do a inventory on a weekly basis of what you have and report it to the committee? Well, I thought that was already being done. Was well, it not done? The problem was we were getting like, you would give us the snacks, we'd be out by Friday. So I was asking every Friday. And sometimes people's lives, you're on vacation, mm -hmm. you want to go places, it's your summer too. Mm -hmm. And then Monday I wouldn't have anything. Mm -hmm. And then I'd be scrounging up Cheez-Its in a bag and selling Cheez-Its in a bag and pretzels in a bag. Or, I think what, you um, know, so I think that where it, I was communicating, but it, you know, you guys, um, you can't be everywhere. <laughs> no, our snacking all together was kind of like, it was weak this year. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's nobody's, it just needs to get better. But. I think it's, a, I think it was, like you said, a couple of things. It was us getting ahead of the snacks, and it was um, maybe getting ahead of what we're getting low on, like sooner. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's anybody's fault. I just think yeah. this year in general, there's uh, a lot of I think we need to be those out, too, that try to get more in our community. More members are on committee and assign people to a particular job and making sure that that job gets followed through completely. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that that's what we need to do. Too. So hopefully we can maybe get some more on our, on our or you know, also a lot of free food. <laughs> yeah. Or you know, counselors also can have. Although they need to be with the children, so that's just you know, so, mm -hmm. and so they're not really having additional responsibilities too. So, mm -hmm. but it's something we need to work on. No blames. No, no, no. Yeah, it's, it's just, just, uh, it's just uh, yeah. Hungry kids go through food fast. <laughs> <laughs> when you're thinking about things and how things are going through, and if you come with it, you know, you drop us an email. I was just to mention this. I always go home and I read the whole thing. <laughs> and think about it, and I was like, gosh, it's like that. Yeah. Drop us a line because we're, we're not going to yeah. know because I'm just saying, you're, you're doing, you're, you know, you're, it, how you guys are gay and how you're getting those and stuff, but if it's something that we can help fix, right. then we, we gotta know that. Yeah. So, I mean, but yeah, I mean, yeah, so I think I learned cool. that, I learned that by the end of last year. I was just like, sorry, I'm dumping. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think the, the, one, the other thing I wanted to ask you about was stacking up, of course, we can't use names. But I would be curious to know, and if it may be something you can drop us an email about, who do you think would be a good return? That's what I would be curious about. Okay. And I why can send, why not? Yeah, I can send that email. I definitely could tell certain things when I would come here to drop, drop off money, and I would come back, and every kid would be silent. And it was an entire camp silent. I, my heart hurt. Like, there's no way every child deserves to be silent. And that. Oh, so that was a, more of a punishment, is what you're saying? For a whole, for a mighty few, I never believed that. You know, you should go. We should all go to jail because we were because <laughs> you did something. You know, and and then that um, stunned a little when I came back one time. So um, for that, I would just say that that's something I would go over. That's a me thing. That if I was doing it, going when I'm gone. 
everything continues the way that it continues. I was here. There's not new rules made that don't go with align with our principles of treating everyone fairly as individuals and not as a whole. I mean, I know sometimes you have to do certain things, but um, that's, that seems like when when I'm there and that's not part of it, and then I'm not. It kind of seems like an abuse of power and overpowering. I think as far as um, the staffing, um, we do get a couple of complaints about staff. Um, I, I received some out and about town. I received down um, certain. Can we go into non public and we can give we us can talk about the, well, we can I didn't really get names section. Um, I do mean if I have one that was, I, I was approached by a situation which is, was concerning. So, um, we didn't need to that in a Huh? A pasture animal. Um, so, yes. it, was, it was really, um, the complaints were about um, maybe the staff not making eye contact again, not being friendly. Um, their children had, had overheard things. And just, it was items like that. But not anything. If they didn't come to you, the parents didn't come to you, they didn't obviously want to know about it. But they put it on the survey, which you kind of kind of shame on you. If there's something wrong, you should go right to the director. Well, I have to say the days that I was there. Instead of waiting to put on the survey. The I thought the, review. the interaction <laughs> that I saw was great mm -hmm. with the kids that, you know, I brought back and forth and as I was going through kids. I'm sure they're isolated. Yeah. You know, they're isolated events, I can't imagine the whole. Do we have... Um, a list of kids. I think in the past we've asked counselors about if they would return next year or did we did you do that? I don't, I'm not gonna say we, I'm gonna say you because you did it before. Uh <laughs> that's actually Joey that did that. Oh really? Oh you mean this uh the survey? I think we did that two years ago. No, oh, okay. I'm not sure that we like we just I mean, asked we can do it again. Because we might have, you know, if you think about some of the people um I know a boy by the starts the letter T. He's so <laughs> happy and so excited, and he'll probably be here for the next couple of years. So a boy with the letter T. But like we and might have people gra graduating, a. you know, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. like Someone you know, know in the army. yeah, okay. somebody in the service. So I mean, we might yeah. have we might have a, a larger somebody's, turnover. Somebody's going to get her bachelor's, so she feels like she's free. Um, but I know two, a uh, one boy and one girl that already had it like in their plan to come back. Okay. Do we? Do you have a like a contact card of email addresses for them? I could get them, but I have to. Like, well, is it on their application? Mm -hmm. I, I think we can have them probably get that. We can probably get checked to put it all together for us. I have that. Do you have all the emails for those tabs? Because I still have it, I think, on Survey on from two years ago, and I could probably just show it back out again. I, have, I mean, just the survey, not the email addresses. Kelly, are you forwarding that to me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. And then, you know, what would be nice is if we could kind of look and see who who might want to, who is interested in returning, and compare that with Melanie's recommendation of who we would like to see return. Yeah, once we get the answers, then we can have another meeting strictly about staff. Sure. Okay. And get the now, I'd like to know, like, an average, if you could kind of pop off your top of your head about um, participation, like, how many kids do we generally have per week? Is that something that you, do we average? Because you know how we... 65, 70, 65, 65, 65 okay. 75. I mean, the first week is always the highest, which we always told you that. But, um, 60. You can probably look at the pool bills, too. I would tell you that, anyway. Tell me how many. <laughs> yep. Um, so did, was staffing, so as far as like, would we have 10 this year? Was that too much? Was it not enough? Was it right on? Um, I think it worked for our, like, the tougher weeks in the beginning when we were 
you know, uh, compromised where me and the assistant director needed to focus on all this and we couldn't help as much and we needed as many out there, but once they got, we knew what we were, everything was in order, then we didn't need as many, which worked out with one of our staff members not working out. Yeah. Um, and one of our staff members leaving early um, for another job, mm -hmm. B. Yeah. And so then that ended up just working out. And were there any days that you, the opportunity was to say, hey, you know, oh, yes. we don't have so many kids, but is any, would anybody like to yeah. go home? And did people kind of oh, step yeah. forward Same for that? Same people every time. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, that's good, though. I mean, yeah. if, you know, people don't want to volunteer, that's another yeah. thing. Same ones didn't want to go, same ones wanted to go. Yeah. And unfortunately, uh, T, because he was generally a closer, he's like, I never get the option. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. you know, I felt he was he was a good closer to do that part because, you know, he would do what you asked him to do. And I had a couple other people that our closing wasn't getting done the way it needed to be done. Mm -hmm. So, I think before and after care go. Good, I think. Um, I know at first, but I think she got a handle on it by the end, um, was that she couldn't get the staff to separate in the morning and was having a hard time saying, you need to separate because she's so close in age with them, it's hard to tell them nicely, go do your job. Mm -hmm. So I think by the end of it, she got more comfortable, like, tired of saying it, mm -hmm. you're not listening to me, please move and, and rotate. Um, I didn't have a problem um, with T with closing because he knew what I expected. His expectations are similar to mine, and we got it as clean as we could. I like being the closing end because I know it's left nice. I know when other staff walks in the morning, they're coming to something nice. Mm -hmm. When I tried to open in the beginning, and I was getting complaints from the custodial, that things weren't being closed properly, um, messes were being left, they didn't appreciate it. So and that's when I switched to the closing. And she, she appreciated it because she wanted to work a night job and she was open. So that's what ended up happening. We did have issues with the glass not being cut when we weren't there. We asked if we're at the full Friday, 12 to 3, if you could mow on. We asked if we were gone all day Monday, if you could mow on. And it would get mowed while we were present trying to play. Are they contractors? No, no. does it? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so our kids one time came or back. Or but it's usually Dick. One time they came back multiple times. They came back and he just mowed and then they played soccer and they were all wet and they just be going home covered in grass stuff shavings. It's gross. So I think as far as the grass and the wasp issues, there's still have been wasp is, it, wash issues now. Still. Right? Are I mean, they yeah, they're out there. They're playing they are. I heard right. somebody got stung a couple times. I ran into, I ran into Rick. <laughs> right. 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 They, <laughs> have, they did do stuff with it. They did have somebody come in. No, we did have know. multiple bee stings, yeah. but so we I stayed see. off of there the whole Cause summer. Because apparently, summer. No, this was this is the ball. The ball yeah. Yeah. They stayed off all summer, but they would come to us and meet us where we were. <laughs> so. One person a week. That is in this whole area, though, right? I mean, we had it in the ground, too. <coughs> um, I, I don't know if it's the type of bees or whatever the heck they were, but I don't know. They were definitely they were feisty. This whole, <laughs> this whole summer. I don't. Yeah, we. Um, the they, kids they were really on there the whole time. Really about it, though. Maybe they'll start care earlier this year. And I put it on my tick list when we had Bridget, I think, earlier, like early February. Um, mm -hmm. We'll have, we'll ask. Well, apparently when I went to, <laughs> she already had and somebody else already had, yeah. and he's like, ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why hey, I think we streamlined it. I'm just passing the message along. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking. <laughs> yeah. So, um, like, tell me what your day was, like, from start to finish. Oh, one a particular day. You know, can I just say one thing? Before okay, we, sure. my brain. So we talked about tents, getting more pop-up tents. That's another thing that I just suggested. We had one for like pickup and drop-off, but it's only so big. Is this table so like during the day you get hot, you want some sheet coverage, just like I know they're pricey, but maybe like just one more of those. Um, but the day-to-day -day function, um, 
worked well. She would open. We would start um, our day outside, hopefully, if all went well. Um, giving them free range, helping the staff, telling them to disperse, grab a walking right away. Your backpack has all your sunblock in it, your first aid kit. You have everything you need to be ready at work on done. Usually it worked out. And then um, we would wait till the 9.30 staff got there, usually me and TJ, start breakfast. Everyone would sit in the gym when that was available. You'd go in your groups with your people. Your, your role would be called for each day, and then they would circle for me at the bottom what, how many numbers of kids they have. Then I would go around and collect everybody's numbers so I know how many kids are there for the day. And then they could eat their breakfast with their group, and then we would set up a schedule. So like, we're doing Olympics on the lawn here, you're doing bubbles and chalk, you're going in to make slime, you're rotating, usually the two age groups with each other. So the two littlest would be with the two middle and the two oldest, and you would rotate. So Brighton and Shannon, you're going here first, you're going there second, you're going there third, and you're rotating. Um, and that worked until lunchtime. We broke off, same thing, into your groups. Um, then usually start water activities because it's super hot. So anything, water balloon fights, water balloon toss, sprinklers, slip and slide, slip and slide you name it. Yeah. And um, so they knew they needed to stay outside. Mm -hmm. um, I usually try to keep my stronger staff at the door at that time because the females are more usually more confident saying, you're not coming inside soaking wet, you're not making these halls wet, you were told to bring your towel out here, that was the expectation, and they'd have to, if they didn't, they'd have to stay dry before they came back in to change because that happened a lot. Um, we sunblocked the twice a day, right after breakfast, um, right after lunch. Um, and if needed, if they were like really fair, they knew they had to some luck again. Um, I can attest to that because when they came today, uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we would take a break, go off into stations you didn't have before, previous ones. Um, and then we would do snack shack, 3.30 staff would leave, and then it would continue. How do you think the check in, check out went? The check-in, check-out was okay. I think certain people liked it more mm -hmm. than others, so we tried to accommodate. Okay, these people like checking out. They like talking to families. That's what they're good at. They're good with that. Telling them how their day went. Stick them there. Other people were not as confident and didn't want to be stuck in that position to have to see people, but at first they didn't tell us that. <laughs> so we kind of have to pay attention and read signs, and that's not really your thing. And people would just finally go, I really like it. So about, um, we would put them there. What about the clipboards? Do so you think those worked? The clipboards worked. The problem was that I was printing everything at home, and then when my printer ran out, we were at Staples printing. So it might maybe make some more time to print here or so do you something. Can, you can print at school. We I got just permission. didn't know where to print there. Yeah. Maybe I just didn't get on the ball with that. Because when I took the um, the one day when we were still when you were still at school before yeah. you guys were moving, and it was rainy and stuff, I give him Sam um, I have dot to dot books and mandalas and stuff, and yeah. I told her where to print them, and she used them a couple of times. So I'm assuming she printed. Um, um, well, I'm wondering if she copied those though, and yeah. like how you print it from the like laptop. Laptop, that they gave you can, us. It's, there's a way. <laughs> Okay. The, printers, that's another the thing. printers are online. Okay. I think I needed All the copiers are online. I needed to start my like I would do the weekly schedule on my computer for all the fun activities and send it to all the parents and print it from home, but maybe if I, I need that I need that printer in there so I could have printed it at school. Well I know he's when I asked about using it, he didn't want big newsletters done every week. Right, no, so we'd only put one, one on the table. The rest, oh, of, yeah, we just put one on the table in case they uh, didn't yeah, check their sports. Right, he didn't mind other things because we had talked about how it was a pain to come down here to print an invoice or if a parent wanted something, you know, that you just can't do that. And he was fine with that. The issue started with the printers a while ago, not even last year or the year before, when. Um, Counselors were hanging out in the coffee room because it's air conditioned. <laughs> and they were eating in there, they were eating pizza boxes in there, and they weren't with kids. So when Kate was there, she just said, um, you're not using the coffee room. Right. Um, 
So that was really more of the issue than Right. <laughs> right. And it would just be, it's really just the clipboards for everybody. They, mm -hmm. they have the six clipboards that just says, Johnny Tyler, you know, in this person's class. Because really you did get it. It would literally be 10 you pages a week at math. A laptop, right? And a laptop. School. And the only thing we used that for was um, for playing videos on the um, screen on rainy day. But you could print from there to right. the classrooms. Right, but all my software for making the schedules was on my computer. So I didn't, I, I, could, I could read. Could you email it to yourself? Yeah, and then or open it on that computer. And then print it or upload their printer to my computer. I don't think they'll let it. Well, well, I can still email. Yeah, like yeah, or Google Drive. Yeah. yeah, or Google Drive. Yeah. So that would that would be way easier than us going to Staples. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and cheaper. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. nicer paper. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know D and um, Kelly are aware, but I don't know how many other people are aware that. Rick Tyler's down. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's amazing. For which, yeah, for who? Which is a my, one of my kids' glasses? That's <laughs> amazing. That's awesome. so funny. Awesome. That so Drake maybe she'll even stick around because she's already in the system. Yeah, but she wants to go to school. Oh, she's better. I asked her. You told me not to harass her, but I asked her when I was there. And she said, I'd love that, but I have to go away for three weeks. And I was like, I don't think you'll care. Mm -hmm. Because we just can't find anybody. You know, there's no benefits and we don't pay. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so um, she, she's gone right now. But I'm she'll be back in two weeks, I believe. Oh, so she, she had to leave to go somewhere? Yeah, she w um, had already made arrangements with a friend that she would drive to California with her. Okay. And then she's going to fly back. Oh, OK. But, um, when? Yeah, she was girls going to school, so yeah. and she'd never been out last, so it was kind of yeah. Okay. Oh, you know, it's fine. Right. You get yeah, it out front, and you tell them what it is. Yes, yeah. yeah. and you do. Yeah. Good. Good. So oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's why Drake already forgot. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
for your assistance or for our program? For our, for, for me, to, to for something. the school to pay for his, the school part, not Camp Raleigh. No, I, they paid for me to go to Camp Raleigh. Oh, I see. But they only paid for me to go to Camp Raleigh one day, and Jill went the other day. Okay. And that was it. Nobody was paid to cover him a three days. You know, the other three days, or the yeah. week or two weeks before the summer program started. They only covered during that summer program part. But I do know that we had a student at one point who was nonverbal, and he was sent to another camp and had covered all day. In my mind, I always think about legalities. Like, do we do we have the right to refuse? service to these children if we don't have the staff that is qualified to do the job mm -hmm. I think we have to yes, have the liability. Yeah. we could have we had a bad us. situation on this first field trip mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I just enough. think we're not we're not our training that we're requiring our staff to have is basic first aid and CPR that's it well you and know? the other thing is it's that not, student needs to have somebody one-on-one. -on -one we don't have any one-on-ones. Wow. Groups, you know, a para assigned to them to function in a 25 at the most student classroom. Yeah. How do you expect them to? Function? So maybe it's a matter of weeding, weeding that out. So I, I think I know what the, the child that you're talking about, and he, I know that you had, you had paid special attention as well. And I am really don't mind being like his one-on-one, -on -one, but then we're all aware that that's happening. Now he was, is this the same child that was having one-on-ones? We don't have they any don't have to to Well, we don't they're care. calling it. I don't think he's typically left alone in school to his own he's devices, not. and he definitely can't be at camp either. He's not alone, and, but he doesn't have a one-on-one. -on -one. He is part of a group. Right. Well, so maybe we should research, or maybe we look into the Cal's help, what we can and can't do. Because of course staffing is absolutely yeah. a, a huge factor. But also and how we like weed out and ask the questions. Yeah. Also, from my experience being on the school board and stuff, I know that um, funding mm -hmm. there's funding for people with IPs and all kinds of other, other things. Mm -hmm. And it could be put on the shoulders of the school, and that's not us. The person who was there part time was paid for by the school, and I was. Oh, but, but yeah, and I was paid for by the school for one day. Yeah, so that child would only be able to go for the one two day, days, unless or, when, or whatever, how many days when it's through. He has his and then yeah. they can't come for the rest of the week because that child can't go under the responsibility of our staff who is not properly trained and And then it's not this one, but it's, it, yeah, it, exactly. So I think we we need to know about those. Mm -hmm. um, so how do we ask think, those questions, though? How can, like, well, if, well I mean, most Well, we, we have that on the registration form, too. But I think, what do we have on the registration? Yeah. Well, um, we, I think we, it, if we know that there's someone coming and we know it's extra quickly, before the program starts, then we need to have a meeting. And I'll talk to Caroline about it. You know, what are our responsibilities as a town, not as a town. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And find out what we can do, but also if, because we're not allowed to tell you. What, well, I know. Thing. How do you I know. But, but when his group was at 15 kids and his, exactly. he, had two, he had two staff, and one decided to leave camp two weeks early. Mm -hmm. This one staff was his go-to, but now she's also responsible for the entire rest of the group. It was impossible. Oh, yeah. So I became his one-on-one, -on -one, yeah. which made me unavailable for parent questions, for certain things that may pop up, because now I need to know where he is. Yeah. And he would disappear. Okay. He has a, at this point, he has a phobia that he will run. Yeah. Uh, so field trips were taken off the table pretty immediate after the day. For day one field trip. So uh, I think you're having that conversation with Karen would be good because I think we decide to, to refuse. Yeah. Um, we have to have a service. Reason. But I think the services that we don't have the service that we can do to yeah. provide for someone who needs to have more services than what we have experienced. And oddly enough, even him being a male, I couldn't chase him into the male bathroom. I'd have to get helpers. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, think, <laughs> I, you know, yeah. I know I that, there's yeah. a line in there, yeah, though, yeah. that I feel like, I, I feel like, I even have a male student full time, and I have to help him with everything he needs. But uh, realistically, I do think it's easier when you have someone that's the same sex as you because there's not this weird line. Of, well, they don't have any. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so it gets harder. Yeah, but, but, but all right, yeah, we, we yeah. don't want to go yeah. anymore on record, but yeah. I will talk to Caroline, and then if you want to just ask that question too, but I think we have to work very, very closely with the school on this, because it is safety mm -hmm. for the child as well as for the staff and the other children. And the other children, yeah. And yeah. Yeah. So we definitely need to the parking lot could have been an issue if I wasn't as fast. As I am and sometimes. <laughs> we have to have a certain amount of, um, uh, we have flexibility, but we also have to make sure that everyone is safe, yeah, including absolutely. that one child. Nobody's sick in a car and, and we don't, home. we don't have <laughs> the staff, that's not what we're designed for. But there are, there are children that are designed for that. Really like an eight to one, not a eight one to one. one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So eight let eight me look into, I'll okay. that okay. and I'll work with it. Okay. At one point, his last day, and he, every parent watched him as he held up a SOS sign. Somebody help me here. That was his last day with us. Mm -hmm. And then, and even like uh, his teacher who thought she had connected and bonded her, then within the whole time was like, are you going to miss me? I'm going to miss you at your last day. And he said, sure. Oh, there's your play. <laughs> like just to show everyone his SOS sign, and it just was like, oh, to the parents, they knew in their heart it wasn't us, but mm -hmm. I, it, it did make me feel good. It was his last day, and every parent seeing him like this, and when his dad came, I had to quickly before he jolted in front of a truck. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. that's just reality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we appreciate everything you did, Melanie. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's, that's <laughs> well, probably not, but ones well, that we should concern ourselves with. <laughs> for sure. Um, you can call Dr. Listen and so if you think of anything, yeah. shoot it over. Yeah. Um, so I'll look forward to seeing your staff break down. Yeah. It was, it was pretty good. I, I can't complain. They, we got the job done with no gym, no field, and no kindergarten. Yeah. You had the most, to start the first year, you had the worst yeah, year. Whatever. That, <laughs> all of it was. Yeah. The gym's done oh. and the main building <laughs> floors are done. So oh, that yeah. won't happen next year. Uh, yeah. Oh, the first time. And the stairs. And hopefully the walks to the light taken care of earlier. Yeah. 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 They should just dig up that ground. You know the big, mm -hmm. like, uh, tractors like that just, just, yeah, yeah, just yeah. dig it all up and let them watch them fly. Have your bees net on the camera. Oh, my God. All right. All right. Before she goes, though, I do want to go into a yes. very quick non-public so Brian, would you like to ask you to leave for a few minutes, please? Mm -hmm. So that's a... Was the basis of your non yes. Personnel. Um, second that. Okay, to just shut off the camera. No, take it out of the room, please. I sent out two sets of meeting minutes from July. Mm -hmm. Did everybody take a chance to read them? Yes. I did, actually. I did not. I did not. I do did. we want to pass them, or do we not want if to pass them? you think they're fine, I'm not I, I thought they were fine. I thought they were fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so... I will make a motion. So we have a makes motion to pass July meeting minutes. exactly the way they were last year. 
and raise tuition a little bit. Um, and I just feel like asking for more bells and whistles this year when we are not having an easy time getting a handle on income versus expense and fixing that problem. I felt like maybe we shouldn't be asking for um, things like um, the Cadillac version of the sports engine. Um, things like that, I felt, let's just get right what we're doing now, and then when we become profitable or in a better spot, sometime soon, I hope, then we can start asking for things like that. The things that we want as opposed to the things we need, right? Does that make sense? Did you have a chance to, to look over the numbers for income versus debit? Like, was it really? I had, and I was just that? talking to Denise yeah. about that. I, I told her, it's because I've been so busy at work, it's like planning season right now. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow I should be able to just take a quick look at some of the last ones right? that I have. Do you have a minute one? I think so. I think right. I I'll look tonight when I get home, and if not, I'll send it to everyone. Yeah. Just to make sure that you don't have it. Um, it doesn't tell you anything but who paid and what it, what it was paid. Um, so, I mean, that was why I yeah. just wanted a quick and, some you know, fast thing to get the maybe, numbers. I found last year, though, with a quick report, some of the things that were in there, if I remember right, didn't belong there. So some of the numbers were not in our favor mm -hmm. um, when they should have been. Like, for example? Ask that. So well, I looked at the quick report this year, and it shows me paying twice because I wrote the wrong date on the check. So I came back in. So it says month. One time it says tuition under my child's name, and then it says tuition under my name. So it's like it says we made more than we did, and then there. Did you bring that to Caroline's attention? I sent it to Carol to a bunch of people. <coughs> I was on, and then right. then the, like we turned in the first week, um, like something like $200, and whatever was cash is both accounted for on, on, um, yeah, on two of the sheets, because she doesn't know if it was fish and cat sales or if it was snack sales. So it's like $140 here and $140 here. One is um, activities and one is like sales. So I think really in the end though, when you look at all those sheets, it, you know, you can you can look at things going on, <coughs> but in the end, it is what it is. So, um, I think she's. I think being five thousand dollars off is probably right. Mm -hmm. If I had to look at some of the expenses we had this year and mm -hmm. some things that um, just accumulated more than I thought they were going to accumulate, I think she may be right. But I mean, just small things that may add to a lot. Well, I'll, here, I'll, I don't um, know yet. I'll uh, talk to uh, Caroline and Chuck. Because um, I don't know. The, the numbers need to match. If the revenue, right. if you're saying the same revenue is going in there twice, they need to match it to whatever the deposit was. So that's why I'm kind of concerned by hearing. So this. last year there was there was um, so last year for example, we would have been eight hundred and fifty dollars off had I not and, and not in our favor. Had I not known that we um, had an issue with some of the tuition payments in uh, sports engine, mm -hmm. so me knowing that, I was able to take eight hundred fifty dollars off the top. And I, so it, it's a matter of we have a bunch of records there in Quick Report, but they're not always accurate. They have to be. That's my that's my point. They yeah. have to be. So I will find I'll talk to um, to them and make and find out um, are they tying the not the numbers to what. My other question is relating to numbers: Is have we seen anything from C and J? Um, Last I knew, no. Did you? Was it on that report? I don't think it was on that report. Deposit? Did you mean a check? A check? Yeah, I was on there. You was? Yeah, I could have sworn it was on there. Okay, I'll But that's yeah, what I was wondering if there was a, a quick. When was the last report that was sent out? Is it? I don't know, but I just I sent them out. Yeah. What? Chuck went out. Yeah. Yeah, I, haven't seen what? I haven't seen one in a while. Two so. or three weeks. Yeah, it was, okay. It was right after camp was done. Right. Okay. Um, so we wanted to know kind of like where we kind of were ending up. Yeah. Um, and so he 
we ran a quick one, but I mean, just want to make sure the numbers right. Well, one of the things I had questioned about too that I was going to take a look at tomorrow was um, Sports Engine because I was wondering of all the um, the extra payments that, or the uh, bills that we the power pay bills. I want to make sure because I remember looking at mine one day because I paid for Christopher's. I think it was a Fisher Cat ticket or something online. But what I didn't see was it in any in deposits that we got. Hmm. But I, I didn't see that. But it could have been that they waited forever to put that into a deposit. So in my mind, I'm thinking, so we, I think we billed like $2,000 worth of power pays. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure to go back and find out, well, did we get that $2,000 in some of our deposits that were And has it all been paid? Because I know when I last checked the last week at camp, we still had one teen camper who hadn't paid for their last, this was probably a month ago, and paid, and there was two or three outstanding Fisher Cat tickets. And who's chasing it? Because they're not going to. We're not, I know I'm not chasing it. But it's, so we need to chase it? Supposed to, we need to chase it. Well, it they're not going to chase it. Right. No, why would they chase it? They're not well, responsible for wreck. They're only responsible to pay the bill or check in the cash. So we're so I know that Celia has been diligent about. It. Let's just say that the the boy that or the, the camper that had the extra invoice right for was it pre or something? Yeah, it would have been twenty five dollars. I know that you've sent out a couple of them, right? And yeah. PowerPay actually does it on its own. So and the PowerPay says point, you're overdue, you're late. So. Mm -hmm. So at what point? Does it leave our hands? Do you know what I mean? Like, at what point, if we're not able to collect this money from somebody, what do we do from there? I, I don't know. But it's not going to be their responsibility to do, go and collect. Uh, they're only the, the financial resource and depositing the cash, but they're, they're, their job is not to go after the money that we couldn't collect. So we, if we can't get it as a committee, then they don't come back next year. That's the only recourse. I mean, they don't come back next year, and it's going to take a hit to us. Mm -hmm. if, if and what avenues have we taken to try to collect that? Mm -hmm. I, I'll look. Um, um, and the other thing, too, silly, is that that money, unfortunately, with Sports Engine 2, if they did pay it, and sometimes it's hard to track it. Because they, they put yeah. it on a credit card on, on Sports Engine? Is that what it is? Or um, is it a... Yeah, it could be or that. Or a Yeah, it could okay. be that. Or sometimes if money comes in here and we don't capture the last that's name and it's not recorded. And that's what could be going on with the Fisher Cats tickets. Yeah. Like, last I knew there were three open Fisher Cat tickets. And one was for Camp Raleigh Camper, whose sibling was in teen camp. And the Camp Raleigh Camper never paid for theirs. The teen camp camper got theirs included. In, included. Mm -hmm. And then ended up, I think, not showing up for the camp row, for the game. And then um, the other one was the two campers who said we're going to the game, reserve us tickets, and then like the day off they said we're not going, so they never paid. But do we know that they never paid because of that whole debacle? Remember the whole Fisher Cat debacle? So we don't even know if they paid or not. But if they did pay, don't you think they'd come back looking for their money back? <coughs> you know? Unless it was communicated to them that they weren't getting it back. Now, I don't know if the director well, That the day, when I talked to um, the camp staff, the day of the Fisher Cats game, they, there were, those three were still out there. But I don't know if they've paid since then. Well, I also know, too, that we had a discussion about this a few months back, and we had said we have to assume that they're paid. Right. Yeah. To be honest, that the whole Fisher Cat thing was a, just a yeah. bad situation on day one. Uh, when everyone was coming in trying to get this money and that money, that's not the staff's, that was what was given to them. So if this is all about the Fisher Cats, we may just have to say we have needed. Okay. Because we can't prove that they didn't. Right. You know, yeah, we can't. can't track it now. And so if it's all about Fisher Cat, I think we own this one because it was not um, done enough. Just show that everything was, unless it's sports engine. No, it's sports engine. They were all invoiced through sports engine, and they should have all gotten a receipt if they did it through the school. 
and did the receipt book get to, or get turned back in? So you put it on the sports engine and it invoices them, mm -hmm. but they don't pay it on the sports. You don't necessarily. You, don't necessarily you have, have the option. option of. So, okay, so maybe we shouldn't do that going forward. Maybe it needs to be like paid. If you're going to order a sports engine, it needs to be paid to a sports engine. I mean, that might be a, a simpler way, mm -hmm. but because we don't know when they could say that, that day one that everything was handled well, there's much confusion in that they may have paid and we don't have it if it wasn't a check we don't have proof right so yeah. in that case I don't think there's anything we can do about yeah. that if that's the case no I, I think that we should close out the proficient that ones yeah because they have paid yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, no. yeah but the ones I'm concerned about are the ones that we built and we know that they paid mm -hmm. on sports engine but did we get them in our deposits that's mm -hmm. what I'm concerned mm -hmm. about or do they go to a bucket that's just kind of sitting there? Mm -hmm. So I need to look at that tomorrow, just okay. to make sure. We probably did get it, but I mean, you never know. If I couldn't find that one for Chris, I'm thinking, where, where did they put that? Like, where in the deposit did they put that? Mm -hmm. So I need to find it. Okay. Can I just pick it? Yeah. I know the student who signed up for the Fisher Cats told us she was going to the Fisher Cats. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we have really issue with refund. I don't think you should. No. No, if they, no, if they said they were going one. and then they didn't go and they paid, you had to buy the ticket, right? Yeah. Or you had to give a guarantee or whatever. Yeah. So that case, that's yeah. not on us. But the ones who said that they paid and prove it, yes or no, so that's on us. Mm -hmm. So are we looking at, oh, you yeah, budget. Yeah, budget. Yeah, budget. So, my question is, are we going ahead with a movie license for Just Camp Raleigh? It's in your fundraising donation sponsor. <coughs> is that something that the town is looking at doing? Um, like, doing like with the library in conjunction with oh, the library? Oh, uh, you talk about sharing it. Oh, you'd have to talk to the library. That's not the town. I mean, it has to go through the library's budget, and I don't believe it was on there. I, I don't think we sure. ever did. They probably submitted their budget. Um, I don't think it's on there. But I'll confirm that for you. But, um, so what did they do this year that exists required to go ahead and do it for no. next? What, what actions did they take? They were doing, what were they doing when they had downtime? The they, they showed movies, but without a license. But they took the rest. They show? Did they show a couple of them? Or? Oh, the last week, every day I went to pick up my kid, there was a movie playing. Mm -hmm. I, think it was it. A, I think it was an option. Mm -hmm. but, she <laughs> a, but she has it as um, a fundraising, so... Um, so we've already told CNJ that's what we're going to do with it. Right. Well, we said we would look into other alternatives for next summer. That we were going to, that we would not ask them for it next summer. Hmm. But when you did a, this, the T-shirts with them, then there was you were also asking for projector sure. and a movie, and th did they agree to that? That's why I asked if the money had come in. I never got a response, so I never knew if something had. Come in, and I can check in with Caroline. I'm actually checking right room. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll check, so. yeah. Um, <clears throat> because if, if you haven't got the money for your T-shirts either, then that could explain a lot. Right? Yeah. yeah. And, um, but again, that's not Caroline's responsibility to go after them. And I will okay. go. I will contact Bridget. Okay. Um, when she said yes, we will sponsor the T-shirts and the movie license mm -hmm. back in October. July. Mm -hmm. It was like July 3rd. She goes, sometimes I just need to be reminded of what's in my inbox mm -hmm. and I will respond more quickly. Mm -hmm. And I had sent her after that the invoice for the t-shirts and said we're not going ahead with the movie license because we're halfway through. We would like to go through with the projector and the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, the proje yeah, for this year. But we are looking into other alternatives for a movie license next year. Mm -hmm collaborating with other groups and probably not, and we will budget it and we will not ask for it again next mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so they not they didn't you don't think that they paid for the movie license that they were supposed to give you funds for the projector and the screen, mm -hmm. but you gave them a dollar amount of what it was gonna cost. But they may not send the check until they have the invoice. That's been their policy before us. So we made an invoice and then send the check. But did we send did they did they get sent the invoice from the t shirts? Though? They got sent the invoice of the t shirts from that. Because I don't from what Chuck sent me, I don't I don't see it. See it. I didn't I didn't think I saw it either. No, I don't I don't see so it. So I think probably you need to call our Bridget to see what the status is on the at least the reimbursement of the t shirts. Because that's going to affect this bottom line. Yeah. Um, and also, if they're intending to do it for, um, and it should, you, you don't have you, you don't have money in here to get the movie projector and the screen to buy it and then submit it to them. Because you're already in the deficit. Mm -hmm. um, I would get in touch with Bridget and find out if she ever said But wait a minute, if it's a donation with a specific attachment to it, I thought that's the only money, that money has to be spent in that way. So if it was worded in the in the $1,500 that, I understand that we're in a deficit, but we can't spend that money on anything but that, no. correct? Well, there's two, there's two things here. There's the, the t-shirts. Right. But she's saying Bridget wants an invoice. Oh, well. Wow. Before she'll give us the money back for the movie projector and the screen, is that what you said? But so you don't have any money to spend to pay for the projector and the screen. I'll talk to Alan. Uh, that, yeah. I'll talk to Alan about it. That seems like we're a little stuck there because we can't buy it with it. I mean, if they're telling us they'll give us the money for it, but we can't. Uh, well, because <laughs> it should have happened the court before we had the final numbers. Yeah. Um, but why don't you find out where they where they're at on that? And I need Celia, will you take care of that? <laughs> yes. And I will also check in um, about the donation from Convenient MD because I sent them an email at the same time requesting that they help us offset some of the pool costs and never heard back. And it doesn't sound like they. We're willing to support us at this time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I thought they were. Yeah, and yeah. you just needed to tell them how. Yeah. And they said they were interested in talking to us about okay. a donation and what they could do for us. And I said, the person who sent me an email said, you know, we could really use like um, $400 as many times as you want for our summer camp because we spent about 150 or I, we spend this much on the bus and this much on the pool, yeah. and together that's four hundred dollars a week. So as many of the weeks that you can sponsor us for, mm -hmm. would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. If that's oh, a way to go. But, but I got nothing back from you might both have been too much. Both these companies. But they're, they're, yeah, it might it might have been too much for them. I don't know. But I look at follow up. And see yeah, what they say yeah. That might be. If you can, I, I think if you can do a talk with somebody on the phone, mm -hmm. it's that much better. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Bridget might just say, can you email me that again? But yeah. Um, I did, speaking of calls, so D, and you mm -hmm. asked me about this. So I pulled this um, receipt from Caroline, and, and I think that's pretty important for us. Like, I went through all, all the bus receipts. And, and this one was wrong, and I called Lisa about it, and I actually called her. I've actually called her twice. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if you want to call her because <laughs> I called her once to tell her that this, this was a mistake, um, and it's probably a two hundred, roughly, I would say a two hundred and twenty dollar mistake. I would, I think, at this point in time, that our team camp did not go to Ellicoya, and that day they went to Wallace Sands and they returned at 1 o'clock because the weather was bad. So that bus should, receipt should be about $230 less. Okay, so, so did they get this office doesn't know that. Yeah, I know. Because so my initials are on it because I approve POs, but I'm assuming you got, I mean, well, invoices. So I'm right. assuming you guys already reviewed this, and that's why it's in our hands. 
Um, there's some that I, I had when I was here, and I signed off on mm -hmm. it, um, but I haven't seen any since. Okay. But so that might have been the last back when I came in. I don't know at the end of camp. I talked to to talk to Caroline, and I was like, "Let me go through those or so something what, like that." What date was this? Was it the that's the twenty second? Is that the twenty second? It's the invoice date. Is there should be a day of travel on there? The description? There's gotta be. No, I think, no. Mm -mm. It says drop off Alcoya, event team, the price, the bus number, the charge <coughs> number. Well, it's um, for July 22nd. 722 mm -hmm. should be on there somewhere. Yeah, it does say July 22nd. So, maybe. so is the invoice date the same day as the function date? I'm sorry, just the maybe for them. They're using the same the yeah, invoice date as the date of what it is. Mm -hmm. Because then it says printed a couple days later, July 26th or 29th. Okay. And so, they the day of the and so you guys went from sorry. They went to Wallace Sands and they returned around 1 p.m. So. Did you guys go to um, El Coy at all? No. It was what was originally was on our schedule. We so didn't go there at all. So you're no. saying it's, it's overcharged because it, it's not so long of a ride? But even the, the amount that's on there is like one of our, I mean, that's honestly why it flagged me because mm -hmm. I was like, we haven't had a single bus trip that was in the 300s. Mm -hmm. So, so nine to one, right? Okay. Nine thirty to one, yeah, right. something like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I, I have called her and then I called her a second time and I said, have you had a chance to look at it yet? And then she's like, oh, the beginning of school and all this, blah, 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 blah. And then so she hasn't got it. So Jen, do you know, know if that's been paid? I think it has been. been. been so they would, they they would need okay. to send us a refund for that. Okay. Or I don't know if we had any, I don't think we had any outstanding that they could roll over. Yeah. You know? okay. So D, on your budget, the food and drink, um, under expenses, is that based on the 2019 pizza invoices? It um, says pizza invoices next to the 525. So, yeah, so the way that Caroline records things, um, we consider that food and drink. Any mm -hmm. pizza invoices that come in? And did you redo, it says transportation 2020 mm -hmm. less Offsite for savings. Yep, yeah, that's um, um, we're considering. You're doing less. How much okay. did you reduce it by? From last year? Yeah. Five hundred. <coughs> okay. Because we spent twenty five eighty eight in two thousand eighteen, right? And this year, I have to go back and look what this year was, but I reduced it by five hundred. And has that consistently been in the budget? Like you said, we had four hundred dollars. Excuse me. You, it was twenty five eighty eight or something. Yep. In twenty eighteen. Mm -hmm. And it, do you think it's around that number that for twenty nineteen? I think so. Okay. It's so it's like we had possibly extra money, so we're getting more accurate in our spending. There. Yes. <laughs> How did the Wentworth house go? I think it went well. My son liked it. it. <clears throat> Just curious. I think she said it went well. Because that was after I was done. So. I w I'm just, that brings me back and back to the point that was in the meeting minutes and I should have addressed with Melanie is that um, there were only three or four pictures that we got from the Wentworth house and I don't know if any other pictures from the camp were taken or given to anybody? She sent me a couple via text. Okay, send me a couple. Of and she sent me a couple because I requested pictures of my son at the talent show. I didn't know. You know, I have a couple. I'm not there for the one like that, so let's go back and look. Well, do we have those to give to our wonderful... Lady? They went directly. <laughs> they were covered and copied onto the email. That they went to the... Um, Directly to the sponsor, too. Oh, that's good. We need to make them happy. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And they were able to take all the children. That for the price, 
that was that was all that that's 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 Yeah, so that worked out actually. So yeah, they their website said one thing and they accommodated mm -hmm. us above and beyond what their website said. Website okay. said three groups of twenty for one hundred and fifty, or um, up to six groups of um, ten, but a hundred dollars each for a smaller group of ten to twelve. And they dropped our size down from 20 to 10 to 12. And then they, so I thought, since the website said you had to have, mm -hmm. the, the difference in price would have been $150. But they accommodated six groups. We're doing a walking road trip. I can't remember what next week. I think it's next week. So do we need to make a motion on the budget to pass it for Camp Raleigh? to go before the select board. Do we need to do that? Whenever so unless it's anybody proposed or not. I think whenever the money's involved, it's good to have a motion so we're all clear on the same page. Yeah, that's fine, right? Or do you want to just do all the budgets and pass all the budgets? Maybe we do all. Let's do all. Did um do you want on the camper fees and tuition for for this twenty twenty? Yeah. What, what was our what was our number that we pulled in this year for that? Um, for total registration? Yeah. Let me see. I've got here. The other thing is the revenue showing for camp is um, off for about about a hundred and or two hundred and something dollars because they included the the um, basketball twenty five dollars for something that was part of it. Yeah, so I don't even go by. I go by my own spreadsheet. Well, I know, but yeah. it's included in um, her number, so if she takes that out, it's going to make it even worse. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so we had a... That was um, $350. Yeah, <laughs> so we had around a $5,800 difference or variance in what we predicted from last year. Um, but although we had that much of a variance, as far as trying to come up with tuition, we had um, a really good year in before and after care fees, mm -hmm. so it sort of washed it out. So what was the variance in um, registration? Um, so it's around 50, and I say around because there's there were a couple of stragglers that came, mm -hmm. I think, for the last week. So I think it's around $5,800, but I don't know until I do the final tie for that. But you said um, before and after care were better than predicted. Yeah, we were way better than predicted on that. So we budgeted fifteen hundred for both before and after care for last year, and what it actually was was sixty three fifty. Wow. In registration, we did one hundred fifty dollars better to budget on that. What was that total? Um, do you want the actual? Sure. So. Um, Thirty-four fifty is the actual. Thirty-four thousand five hundred. Three thousand four hundred and fifty. Compared to 3300 that we budgeted. It was that registration fees? Was that what you're doing? Yes. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. And was our total for um, tuition lower? Yeah. Um, yeah, there was a difference of 5800. 5800. Zero, zero. So we budgeted 339 yeah. uh, for tuition, but we only brought in 27. Ooh. Yeah, so that's where we started, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. Because we were down. How many campers? About 10, 10, 10, 10, I think. 10, 10, 10 yeah. campers. Yeah. So we were down that. I'm not sure if the way to... I'm going to have to go down and break... I have to break all this down because the way I predicted the bus, the money that we needed to cover the bus and the pool, 
as well as salaries, we were probably off. So I could have probably charged more tuition. But we're always playing that game. Yeah. That's a little game. Yeah. But also, it's what I think what hurt us too this year was um, snacks and stuff like that. Because now there? we're digging, I've dug into my own pocket a few times to, to pay for snacks, and we're digging into our own pockets, or the camp's pockets, for snacks, and I just think. I'm, but in the parent handbook, there was a set price. Do we know if they were charging the set price for the items that were donated? Because, like, the freeze pops, they're mm -hmm. supposed to be, like, 75 cents, with, or, say, 50 cents each. Are they being given out at 50 cents, or are they being given out at 25 cents? So we, so 25 cents was the set fee for free spots. It's always been okay. that way. So they're doing, depending on what it was, it was either 25 cents for free spots, or it was 50 cents per snack. So I think, I think we ended up making money on that stuff. So like I laid it out to Denise one day, mm -hmm. how much profit we're making on certain items, depending on how you bought them. Mm -hmm. Um, so in some respects we're making a profit, but we're, but you can't really in the end when you keep digging into your own pocket to. Right. The thing is, I think previous years we had more donations, mm -hmm. and now we're buying the product to turn around and resell it, which is taken away from your profits. So I think that's kind of what where we were. And I, I would love to give you guys like a real accurate snapshot of everything. I just haven't been able to do it yet. Don't so worry about it. I can't answer a lot of questions about how much versus how much or, you know, I wish I could, but I can't right now. Life is more crazy for a lot of people in this room. Do you, do you have an idea of how many, like the percentage of out-of-town registrations as opposed to in town? Oh, I, mean, I don't expect like exact, no, exact numbers either, just... No. I can't. I can't remember what it is. That's what we had. I mean, we're easy with teen. We had 10 in town and 7 out of town. Great. Okay. So, yeah, we had more out of town than I thought we were going to have. Well, um, just if I had to guess, I'd say we'd be out of town. We'd have more money. <laughs> well, we do ask for more money, but maybe I know, not maybe money. It needs to be more money. <laughs> you know, we're so low anyway. Mm -hmm. To make them think about it a little bit more. Yeah, I, I was shocked at how many kids I didn't know going to the gym. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of volunteer kids that I don't know now just because I don't have kids. You know? Well, there's a lot of little kids. Yeah, that I don't know. yeah. But there were some kids that I just, by appearance, knew they didn't go to Yeah. Yeah, being in five, six, I don't know the little kids. Mm -hmm. I know the little kids. I can be more informed on that. Okay. <laughs> so, is everybody comfortable with the Camp Raleigh budget? And I can move on to the team budget or to the team budget? <coughs> I don't know. As long as everybody else is. Okay, um, so I only brought one copy of the senior budget, and I printed one off, I think. But so we have not done anything for senior program this year, so we have not um, so we requested three hundred dollars, which is supposed to be in the budget for senior programming. Um, but um, what do we want to do with that money, I guess? And I, when we did the senior mailing, to get the mailing out to every person last year cost us $400. So I requested $500 in town funds to help cover that and then we could do a little bit more. That would give us, if we did another mailing. For what? What are you mailing them for? 
That's what I was confused about. I know the first time you did it was for a survey. Yeah. Find out what people. So what? What's the intention for the second mailing? Well, we don't have to do a mailing. No, I'm just asking. I'm just um, asking. I don't a lot know what of the intention is. Some of the people said, um, like, I would like to put some of the money that we're asking for into publicity, flyers, etc. Because people said in the survey, and I can get the survey results out to you guys, mm -hmm. is that um, either via mail, postings, and like social media. But social media was like third or fourth down on the list. Mm -hmm. um, but the best way to contact the seniors in the community was through a, was not necessarily electronically. Mm -hmm. So, either through friends and family, through postings here at the town hall, or at that stuff. <laughs> so, I guess I would need to know where are we spending our money this year and where do we want to spend it next year. I'm kind of lost because this is kind of a new, new program that we want to roll out, and I'm not really sure what the intention is going to be for the program. Is it... Um, Putting on um, uh, dinners, like communal um, social gatherings, or something for seniors. Or I'm not really sure what the intent is. Uh, a lot of the seniors said they wanted social gatherings, mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily a meal, but like some sort of social gathering. Um, connections with other community groups, um, or and or speakers, so like connecting with the school, and. That a lot of the response was, why aren't the kids and the seniors getting together and doing activities? So collaboration there. And then, um, I'm trying to think what the other one was. Um, well, yeah, some of that can go. You need to just relay that information to the school and saying, this is what we heard from the seniors. You know, yeah. Your survey has to be, it's important. But it also has to be shared because yeah. then it's, that's no good. And sending it on another survey or something to me is a waste of four hundred dollars. I'd okay. rather take the four hundred dollars and do a program, do one next year, do something for the seniors, a, a, a picnic in the park, or in and have it be, you know, if we don't have enough money, then we can try to get some donations or something. But do something with the money. Sending notices and and. and it, to me, is a waste of money. Already got your opinions. Okay. So to me, it's, let's let's do an event next year mm. and see, you know, if it's something that's going to be we more than what we have in there, then we'll try to raise some funds. So I guess I would like to see maybe um, I put two hundred and fifty dollars in the budget for. Um, Publicity, so getting flyers or something printed mm -hmm. um, for 2020. And I put $50 in there for venue costs or rental. So that if we wanted to have something at the library or something at the Legion, we could um, cover the costs of the space. Mm -hmm. I think the Legion's prize, that's all I'm telling you. Yeah, no. But, you know, again, if it's going to help bring the elderly and some enjoyment or bringing them in with other, with maybe kid performance or something, I don't think they're going to charge you, to be honest. I, I, I find it very hard. Well, I was thinking maybe it'd be like, they probably wouldn't charge us, but maybe, I guess I would like to see, um, one of the options laid out to the seniors says, do you want to go on a bus trip somewhere? Like, do you want to go out and do an activity? Do you want to have a folk, like a, a knitting group or something like that? Would you be interested in doing a craft group? So I have activity fees in here, which would pay um, money for um, tickets and entrance costs or supplies. But does that, I, I guess I need clarification. If I'm going to go buy like yarn for a knitting group of seniors, is that under supplies or is that under activity fees? 
Doesn't so matter. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm going to give you some advice. You need to be far more prepared than when you are right now because the budget committee is going to have a lot of questions than I'm having for you. You've got to have a plan and you've got to have details. If you don't, I, I don't see that going forward. Okay. You really need to concentrate on one thing. Mm -hmm. down to something. One thing for next year. Didn't we talk about them. maybe having, I don't know, like a, a spaghetti dinner or something like that? Mm -hmm. Didn't we like, mm -hmm. talk about that? And so, or or maybe coffee mm -hmm. Fridays or you know like something that. like that. Take someone's here mm -hmm. to get it going and to organize it. You're only one person, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Unless you can get some volunteers. To help. Oh, is that an extra coffee? Oh, I didn't have some coffee at home. The husband didn't have a for anybody to come out of town. That's so. What I'm thinking is that. <clears throat> I realize I'm only one person in that work group, and I can't spend $300 that's in our budget right now without permission from this group. Mm -hmm. So what I would say, and we've been so busy we haven't really looked at this, is I would spend three, I would put right here 150 in our um, publicity line for this year, and then we could use that to make flyers and we do a coffee hour or something and we partner with the black bean see if we can because they might require like a fee or something and then we put i don't know where to put the other 150. so what are okay so let's just let's back up so what are some of the options for you like you so a coffee hour like maybe once a month or something like that yeah, is that an option? Yeah. And spaghetti dinner is an option, so... I, we want to make sure that the, the thing that we've come into the past is that even if we charge people, right? So if we say, so if you have 20 people, uh, let's say 10 people. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say you have 10 people show up who, we say it's a $5, $5 um, spaghetti dinner, right? So that's um, that's fifty bucks, right? That has to be accounted for, and that even if we ask to collect money, is it is correct? accounted for. It, I have a fee collection of two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, accounted for in my budget. But we need to also talk about a fund to put it in if we're collecting it, right? No, that's revenue coming in to offset your expense. Okay. You have two hundred and fifty dollars that you're going to collect. You're going to have an event. You're going to collect a small stipend, and then you're going to take that stipend, and that's going to pay for the event that you're doing. Right. But you got to bring in the revenue in order to have the expense. Okay. So, but you have to have a plan. Yeah. It can't be. I think we should do this. Right. Because right now you planned something last year. You got it approved, but you didn't. You haven't done a thing yet with it. Yeah. Right. The three hundred dollars. We the three hundred dollars was what was in the budget from 2018, we used the $300 and went over budget by $100 at the end of last year when we did the senior meal. Mm -hmm. That was $400. So we have another $300, and I wanted to do a meal or a coffee hour, and I was told once that $300 is gone, it's gone, and that I should not spend all of that money on one event. Who it, told you that? It was in a couple of conversations, if I want to have more than one event because we cannot charge for it, and that's where the fee would come in. But I guess that's where I'm confused. It's like, I thought we needed an account for the money to go into so that then we can use it perpetually. Well, that's a revolving account or something. That's totally different. It, but you got to have money to put into a revolving account. Okay. Or if you didn't spend, if you got more revenue than you um, than expenses, you have to have a warrant that says that you're going to create a revolving account. Anything that is left over within RAC can go into this revolving account for next year. You are two years away from that right now because you have to have, you can't do it for this year, you're doing it for next year if it gets approved. Were you talking about the income versus expense line? So I know that uh, we had that conversation with Caroline and her one day. And I think what it came down to was being able to capture um, 
what you're being paid for, like a ticket, let's just say ticket in your income line, and then the expense that goes out. Is that what is that what you're thinking about? I think it was it line? may have been a meeting back in March that we um, talked about like if once that three hundred dollars is gone, it's gone. And I as a committee member cannot make the decision about how to spend that money and that it would be better if we're going to put on a meal to ask Hannaford Shaw's and Market Basket for donations of food so that you still have that three hundred dollars if you need that three hundred dollars. And we had a whole conversation about would it be worthwhile for like the school to donate gift cards to those places so we could go get it? Because what you're thinking is if we use the donations as opposed to the money that we have, then you don't know, do then do we roll over? Is that what you mean? We, I mean, we wouldn't it's... roll over necessarily, but then we would still have that money for like publicity. Like we're going to have spaghetti over sixty five, we're starting a senior dinner. You know? Mm -hmm. I guess I'm not saying we need a mailing for a servant, and I get that you see that as a waste of money. I'm saying that's a waste. You already did it. You right. did nothing with it. That's what I'm saying. It, it it doesn't make sense to do something you've already done and haven't done anything with it. I'm saying maybe instead of a survey, it needs to be a mailing of an announcement. On this date, we're putting on our first senior. Event and that's that's fine, but are you sending it through the whole town, or do you have a list of names? But we can't pull just a list of names. So you're sending it to the entire town, which is very costly. Mm -hmm. There's got to be a better way to do it, and I'm I'm not saying don't do an event for the seniors. That's not my intent. Okay. But spending four hundred dollars on a mailing, and maybe get ten, 10 people, people show up. <laughs> and then you just have to pay for the dinner. You know, there's a better, there's means of advertising other than through the mail system. You know, the, we have A-frame signs, we can put posters up, you know, there are, there, there are, there are ways to spread the word. So post office, just... Well, just posting here and posting at the post office, yeah. or posting at, you know, uh, you know, the library, whatever, you know. So, I guess I don't know what... The copies for the postings can be done through the town hall, but can you guys do the mail, the posters for the A-frames too, or does that have to be outsourced? Um, I think it has to be outsourced. They don't have the material. To, they don't have the printing um, machine that would do that size. Okay. So you would want something. Yeah. I would yeah, want something in this line. I don't, you know, I don't know so where you can even have that. A hundred or a hundred and fifty dollars here mm -hmm. for. Um, a sign for flyers and signage is what I'm suggesting. So then your mailing, your um, office supply line would go down because it's office supply including office supplies including mailing costs. So that could go down because you know you're not going to be doing the mailings. Um, so that can be down to. Um, so I guess then I would, for the other money that we have this year, I would split it between activity fee, uh, between. So I'm but just this year is already taken care of. We really need to know for tomorrow night. We really need to know what 2020 is for. You, you already have the money available to you. For this year. I understand that, but I'm trying to figure out in my own head where the money is going to be spent this year so I know how to project for next year, if that makes sense. Because if I don't know where we want to spend, invest for now, I don't know where to plug in numbers for the future. So then, see, that really tells me you're not ready for this program to happen. That's what it tells me. You don't, you don't have a plan. So you've got to have a plan in order to know how you're going to be able to spend the money. I feel like there is a plan to have a coffee hour or a meal, but I feel like it's not just me who's in charge of the money because I'm a member of this group who is making the final decision. Right, right. but we're all kind of split into, we have our own certain... Okay. So I, I think what I'm saying is that we, I, I like the idea of the senior program, 
And I like the idea that you're taking the ball and running with it. So what we're doing is we want to just Support know what your you. recommendations are. <laughs> and, and we will, you know, we'll talk about the money and we'll talk about what we want to do, but we're depending on you to let us know what the plan is and what you want to do with it. If you okay. want to have a coffee hour, I think it's a great idea. I agree. It's a great start. I, I really agree. Do. I think you need to start small, and that's as far as small as you can get. I mean, to do something, see how yeah. many people you get to come, and you know, and then you just grow it from there. But you gotta, you gotta start somewhere. But you gotta have a plan to start somewhere. And I think that's we're not there yet. So I don't know how to tell you to do your budget because. There isn't really a plan of the estimated cost of having a coffee time or... Um, is, even, is there a cost for a coffee? I mean, the cost would honestly be the advertisement. Well, you have right? to pay for coffee. Well, who, but Unless you're going to get someone who's going to do it for you. like. But we wouldn't be responsible for a coffee, would we? Or we would we? That's my question. It depends on, on where we have it. Well, it's the question I'm saying. I don't know what your plan is. Are you planning? Are we planning to have seniors come and have a free cup of coffee in the town, or are we asking for the seniors to come and pay for their for their, their expense for that? I say free coffee hour. Mm -hmm. I so kind of thought that that's kind of what we. I took a picture of it. Um, okay. That was kind of like yeah. either we pay for it through this or we fundraise it. Have money to do it. I think that's. I think if we're trying to hit a, a senior um, population, um, we should be trying to do it for nothing. For them. Yes, absolutely. That's okay. that's my that's my thought. Um, so I think if you, if it's a coffee hour, you just want to look for somebody who's gonna support the coffee hour or sponsor it in terms of like a, a location. Right. So you said the black bean, right? Or even the, the library is a nice The library, library has already well. agreed that they, we could use the community room off the library and that um, like a Tuesday or Thursday midday would be, be us? would be better. And that venue would be free to us. Okay. So you just, so in my mind, what you do is you think about, okay, so now I need to advertise it. How much do I think I'm going to spend in advertising? Uh, if how, much, how many people do I think I can get to go this first year? Kind of like what you did with teens. So you're like, well, maybe 15, you know, 15, maybe 15. And then kind of estimate in your mind how much it's going to cost per person. And that's how you get your like, budget for um, what, the food drink, yeah, the food drink line. And what other expenses might go along with that? I think that's probably you advertising and the coffee because you have to pay for a venue. Does well, you get the cups and your napkins, and you know yeah. we could ask for people to. If you're not going to have it at the bus stand, you can't do it there. But ask people to bake something yeah. so they can have coffee and a mm -hmm. treat, you know, and conversation and whatever. You know, we can certainly go looking, you know, talking yeah. about so whatever, or we can do whatever. My plan would be right now was to put a hundred dollars into publicity for flyers and signage, a hundred dollars into. Um, a seed fund for um, food and drinks. That way you can go buy, the um, library has a curry machine, but you could buy cake cups for it and people could provide their own cake cups and then maybe get some snacks for the first one and then work on having them donated throughout and set it up on a regular schedule and then we can have donated ones after and then $100 would be to supplies for paper products and so forth. Yeah, but you know, Hannah is great about giving paper cups and napkins and all of that when it has their name on it. But, you know, they're great about giving it to you. Paula Willis is a good um, contact. So I would put $100 into supplies, and then if something, and then they can do a sign up sheet at the first one. And if something needs to be mailed, that can go under the supply line. A uh, reminder. Now, what if you had uh, a small little entertainment of some sort? At this coffee hour, if you're having it at the Grace, do we have a local singer who can sing to them for an hour? Or oh, we do. Mm -hmm. PTO, Celia. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Although he may not be able to do it in the middle of the day. <clears throat> yeah, we know someone else too, but I'm not sure that will. We'll, see. well I but mean, you know what I'm saying. So maybe put a little extra in there for entertainment. Like, you know, I have a presenter speaker line. So presenter speaker line. 
Exactly. So you can have someone come in and um, be entertaining to them, or you know. So did we have some coffee, or treat, and a little entertainment? The bottom lines have to match. Is yeah. that correct? Mm -hmm. Well, kind of. So, yeah. This one has. A, B, <laughs> yeah. So this one has um, seven fifty in it for fee collection, so that we can bring in money to support future pro programs. So I need, and but this one only has five hundred dollars because that was the allotment from the town. So I need to increase my expenditures by two hundred and fifty. So this is okay. okay. So this is proposed, right? So five hundred is what you're proposing that you spend, right? In anticipated revenue. So what's that fee collection? But I thought this was specially, probably directed towards a special fee. Um, that Charging someone to come in and have this copy. Uh, no one's selling. Oh, sorry. She's selling uh, a ticket for ten dollars or something. A program she's putting on, but I think yeah. we decided we're not going to do that. Right. I, said, I said, this is in case the rec committee decides to move forward with any different funding accounts, collection of fees would offset the cost to taxpayers. So, like, um, if we go forward with the revolving fund or anything like that. This is the revolving fund is at the end of the year when there's money left over for revenue. That's when you can put it in there. You can't count for it here. See, I've spent a lot of time, and I have a defense of opinion. Well, I, I fine. So, okay. Uh, well, so that's probably, where your difference is: is 750 versus the 500. Yes, because but see, this is something that needs to be worked out before tomorrow, right? Right. So exactly. So we need to figure out. Okay, so what is the answer to this? So 250. That's what I don't know, and I. I've spent a lot of time looking at the different funding options for REC. And one of them is that we have a fund that we put on the ballot come March, and we wouldn't collect any of this $250 before that. This would start after town meeting, and on the budget, or on the ballot, it would say to establish a fund for REC, and people come in and get money. But I guess I need to sit down with Caroline and Denise, and talk about whether or not this 250 even belongs here. So what you're saying is you want to set up an account and have people make donations to this program? No. I'm saying the account goes on the ballot in March, and then afterwards you can collect funds that go into that account, and the money doesn't even go to the town. It goes directly to the town treasurer, and then it's for rec, and then the town treasurer, we say, we need and what people. And fund is it? Is it a revolving one? That's the way I understand it, is that it doesn't go through the select board. It goes directly to the town treasurer, and the treasurer then, um, the rec goes to them and says, we need, 20, uh, we need $100 for a senior meal, or, or we need, say, people pay the town for swimming lessons. So Dover does it all the time. You pay the town for swimming lessons, it goes into a special account, that goes to pay the staff and the facilities for swimming lessons only. That's the type of account that is going through my head. Okay, so when I was at the training for the budget committee members, yeah. that does not sound at all like what she was telling me. So okay. I'm not sure that you understand, or I may not understand a revolving fund. But my understanding with the revolving fund was if there's revenue at the end of the year, excessive to your expenses, that can go into a revolving fund and has access to the rec. So that's so I'll send you the doc I'll send you some of the documents that she had well, part of her training. Um, but um, that's not how I understood this. Because my understanding was is that we collect money for just our programs. It goes into a special fund, and it's not even held by the select board. It's held by the trustees or the treasurer. And then we say that we're having a class. You have no trustees. You are you are you don't have any. You mean like the trustees of the like they have at the library, or the trustees of the trust funds and all of them? I mean, we're not part of that right now because we haven't gotten an established.
This is a discussion for a later time, I guess. Mm -hmm. One we're both I think of. everyone needs to, you just need to write down exactly what you're looking for, and you need to then get the information online of what kind of an account you think that this is going into. I have spent quite a bit of time, and I have a presentation that I can give to you guys, but not at not this time. time. <laughs> <laughs> so I think for now, maybe, because my other concern would be, so we're saying it was 750 anticipated revenue, but we're only 500 years, so now we've got $250 difference, which I know where you're saying it's coming from. But, um, yeah, let's just make it even. 500, 500, right? In comparison to expense. But, so for tomorrow, you know, I, I would go into it saying, this is how much I need, and this is my plan for how we want to spend it. And so I like the coffee idea. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. It's a great introduction into the senior program. Mm -hmm. I mean, Maybe we can start with, like, once a month, like the, you know, people like to pick, like, even, like, the Legion has the third Sunday of every month. So people get used to that and, under, you know, and plan on that, like, the last Friday of the month or something like that. That you have, we have a copy time and. My only concern about that is you've got to have the support for, the, for they've got to have the people that are going to help run it. I work. We yeah. Do work. Well, I mean, I don't know. You got to get more people That's involved That's in order to commit. To yeah. You can do a one onesie kind of thing and see how it goes. Yeah. But I don't know how you can control having it do every month or something when you don't have this more the support. Uh, we can have some seniors support us. Yeah. <laughs> True. I mean, no, I mean, we need put something out there that says, mm -hmm. you know, if we're looking for, you know, people who are available during the day who can help support these programs, you can use social media for that, you know, because you're looking beyond the elderly. Be looking at other, you know, people who may, may be stay-at-home moms or dads or whatever. Huh? Different elderly. And that yeah. came through as, like, why don't we have a senior helping senior group? That was a comment on there. Yeah. But we just, we got to have more than this, what's sitting at this table to, to run something like that. I mean, once, once we can see how it goes, but to say that we're going to do it every third Thursday of the month, I, I don't know how we can if we don't have the support. Because you can't just say, oh, I can't do it this week. Right, right. Because right. We don't have I'm busy, yeah. you know? I mean, we got to have, you've got to have the support for us. Then you can offer it, but I would I would say try the first one, see how see what you get. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and then from there go and see what you can try to do, even if it's quarterly or something. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so teen budget. Yeah. Did you look at teen? No, you had questions about teen, so I didn't know if if that well, was the addressed. Well, didn't go, come across correctly. That's one of the things that. Which, which numbers? So well, the, just, the, the columns didn't go across, and the percentages didn't, weren't reflected. It was senior and teen that were that way. So I asked um, Celia to review them. Did, no, is this what I have here, Celia? I, I, don't, I don't like this percentage proposed Do you have change. That, extra that thing bugs me. <laughs> I don't have it with okay. that. I, I only brought the... Well, I'm just wondering if I, I didn't I didn't grab this one. Is that the one that I only have done? The, I only have the income side. I don't have the um, expenses side. So what's changed? Is this Is anything changed? We, we really, no. I think we're really just keeping everything the same from last year. Um, so tuition remained the same. Um, we were up by registration, so I added in $40, so that's just like one more registration. Um, before and after cares, I, we, um, did we zero we, that out? We zeroed that out, mm -hmm. so we don't anticipate that. Food and drink has been zeroed out and probably should be taken off at some point soon. Um, grants received got dropped by 50% because we didn't get any grants specific to team this year. Fundraising and donations got dropped by 300 because we didn't get the donations there this year. Um, and that had included both of these lines last year. So this line is going to be absorbed into that line. Okay. 
Um, so is this one right here? Is that actual? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, this one is t-shirt sales. And so that got zeroed out because we never know how many shirts we're going to sell for team. And this is new. This is activity fees. Um, and <coughs> this must not be the most current one. Kelly has the most current one. Which one? So it had $90 in it? Wait, what's the problem? Oh, no. I'm thinking the expense one. Um, so this, yes, $90. So if Camp Raleigh campers join, um, like we did this year with indoor sand. So if a couple more kids join us for an activity, mm -hmm. that's what that was, was the $90. Where did you guys land last, uh, this, this season wrap up? Did, where you were headed or not? Um, okay. Plus, Kelly kept the numbers and it looks like we're in the plus by 600. Okay. Yeah. So this was the indoor sand collection. Although I, I actually don't think I added in the bus. I kept that out because I knew that wasn't correct because that would have put us still in the plus, but only by a couple. So this is what we're looking at for income coming in for team for next year. So we're just trying to you know increase our numbers some more. And do you know if we got our, re our return money for um, the... Um, and they, they never. Uh, they never sent out any money. Yeah, they did. That's not what Caroline. Um, did. Oh, Caroline yeah. said no. Yeah. Oh, I thought they said they did. We thought they did, but no, mm -hmm. they didn't. Okay. Yeah. Or no. Yeah. So that was a yeah. I had to ask for that. Um, so last year, uh, you just have to refresh my memory. Was it budget based on fifteen campus? Um. Last year? I think it was. <coughs> I think it was. All right, so you're basing it on No, we're no. doing... 15. I think we went to 15 again. We did 15. And this was what was in 2019. So we are doing 15. It's it's the same tuition amount. We're projecting on 15 again. Okay. So when it... Do you see... What she has to the right is the total is 18 registered campers. That was for the whole summer. So there was only a couple, there were some kids that only came for one week, mm -hmm. you know, so that makes so our numbers look high. We had 105 spots <coughs> if you did 15 campers per week all summer, mm -hmm. and 60 of those spots were filled. So okay. we were just over 50% capacity. Okay. So you're not changing tuition or anything, so you're keeping it as is? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the income side. And then the expense side, we added a couple things. And I'm just going to, Kelly, did you bring the expense side? Because I did not. Um, yeah, right. Team budget. Office supplies. Here's, yeah, here's the salaries and stuff. So we kept the team director salary the same because it came in lower than expected. Um, we took out the hourly counselor because we've not hired one for the last two years and decided that instead we would look for volunteers to fill that spot if we had a week that was higher and we needed an extra staff. Um, How does that affect having an outsider coming in and being with children without a credit reference? We, I'm not correct, I mean, I'm a background check. On record check. I put in an extra one or two criminal background checks. I know, but what happens if you don't know until this day, and then it, you can't get them immediately? So Kelly has, in, in the past, been our volunteer, <laughs> and we could ask if we, when they register, if we have a week over 15, we can ask. Because if they volunteered in school there. Yeah, yeah as long as they have it somewhere. But yeah, yeah, so they, um, so you could ask that if you, you know, are proof or school. So it would be like the weeks that Kelly's not available, we would ask the parents. And we should know that at the time the registration closes. Okay. Um, and we should be able to get those underway mm -hmm. ahead of time. We took out, since we took out the counselor, we took out the training and orientation because the director has that built in to their salary. Mm -hmm. And that drops us down $250. 
Um, payroll taxes, um, we left the same, but it will drop because we took out the counselor. Um, I just didn't know what percentage it'll throw um, down. Um, the supply line, we increased um, by $500 because we had a couple of discussions with, um, and this is for like a venue entrances and ticket prices and stuff like that. So Take Flight gave us a, I think a 75% discount or something. It was supposed to be over $1,300 and we got in for 500 or something. So they gave us a great discount for the ropes course. And I'm not sure we're going to be able to get it in the future. So I increased our budget um, for that. Um, the transportation buses, we left the same. Um, so we're projecting two bus trips per week, and we are not, and that includes um, Mondays and Wednesdays. That does not include going with the camp along to the pool on Fridays um, there. And then um, I put in $100 into advertising and promotional to buy a banner or anything else that might need to go up to thank sponsors and stuff like that. Um, $150 went into shirts. We did not budget anything in 2019, and then we found out the shirts that were requested were all the same size, and we were out of them. So it cost us $165, so we put $150 in that line. Um, first aid, CPR training, we zeroed out because the staff has come in the last couple of years with that training and we have not had to pay for the training. Food and drink, that's... Can I just make a comment on that? You should budget it regardless because you don't know if your staff is returning. Always. So you should you should always budget for first aid and CPR training. Did we budget for that on the camp early? Yeah. 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 You should... Yes, we do. Yeah. You should always... Because um, you don't even know the expiration date of this person, so they may be up for it anyway. Um, even though we got that for, I mean, for free this year. I know, but one of the things that I think that we should put in there is um, the cards now are, they cost, the fire department picked it up this year. Oh, we it's get them online. Cost. It, it's 20 bucks or something. No, we get ours come online from McGregor. Do you have to print out our own? No, we can print out our own. We also, we don't know why, but we can charge like half of my system. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. But I was told that there was a, I think it's $20 for a card now. It used to be free. Yeah, we don't, get, we have to print our own cards. So yeah. I guess that's why we. Yeah. But anyway, um, so I would just go ahead Just and put it in there? Yeah, I would. Go back to, what would we have in there last year? So oh, we haven't put anything in since 2018 and we have $50. Because it would be t for two. It would well, be actually, one. it's only for one. one. So it would, should that be what, $50? Is that what? Sure. Okay. And then food and drink is zero. Background checks you put to 120 So that way we could do the counselor or the director and an additional staff or additional volunteer um, at $60 each. We did. Um, Grants. Grant um, was dropped down because we didn't get any this year from 500 to 250 for activities related to grants. Um, contingency dropped from or went up from 650 to 100 or 1,000. And I thought I had put in um, I I put in a supply line too for team camp. That, there should be another page. I thought we put in a supply line of a hundred dollars for team camp for the phone. Oh for yes, the team. yeah. We, and we um, to do a phone and, for the team camp director and the email address if we needed to pick up the cost for that. And so um, it was identical to the one for Raleigh. The dollar on I thought it said. Yeah, the same as the month. And then, was that $100 for the Arctic? Well, you had to buy the phone, though. 
and then you have the charge. The right, the track phone, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, there was a line in there for um, <coughs> website supplies or online you supplies. Have supplies here. So yeah, that, yeah that will be used to cover a cell phone and prepaid.